Kerry Burtnick was the Briars' hottest skip with five straight wins until Wednesday's extra end loss to British Columbia. Now Manitoba in a battle for the last playoff spot with two games to go. Nova Scotia's Mark Dacey, a win and a loss on Wednesday, and there's still a chance to hang around for the playoff. Step one, a win over Manitoba on the breakfast draw this morning. The ice is still fine for skating on the Rado, and it's been perfect inside the Civic Center all week. Three draws, two games, one last chance to guarantee a place in the playoffs on Thursday at the 2001 Nokia Briar in Ottawa. Good morning again, everyone. I'm John Wells, along with two-time Briar champion Russ Howard. What we have, seven teams battling for the playoffs as it stands right now, and the teams we'll watch today, both at 6-3, and three, Manitoba and Nova Scotia. Well, it's huge. You know, the, both teams can control their own destiny, and that's all you ask for as a curler this late in the week, but uh, it's even bigger for Kerry, because Kerry loses this game. He's, he's looking at Alberta this afternoon, and uh, that's no picnic. Both these teams were 1-1 one one yesterday. Burtnick won on the morning draw over Saskatchewan, and this was the key shot of the match. Kerry's played so consistent all week, all through his career, but uh, Dougie Harford had an opportunity to take this corner guard away from him, and he left it for Kerry, and Kerry made no mistake, just nailed it perfect. That for three, and that paved the way to victory. The territories lined up against Nova Scotia last night. There was a chance for Steve Moss to win the game with his last rock, but Nova Scotia dodged a bullet. Mark set this up with an unbelievable hit and roll, and uh, he was in big-time trouble. Steve had control of the game right from the first end, and... Uh, Mark rolled it to the top of the button, dead buried. And Steve had an incredibly tough come around here, but there was a chance to get to the side of the button, and the boys just overswept it here. Simply put, for Nova Scotia and Manitoba, win two games today, and you'll be around for the playoffs, but only one of these teams can win two. Exactly, and, uh, you know, the magic number is three, and uh, four might get in, but you can't bank on that this late in the week, and uh, the, the loser here is, could be on the outside looking in. Our feature match this morning, Manitoba versus Nova Scotia. It's breakfast at the Briar, and we'll be right back. Would you expect your car to protect you? With sensors that know where your seat is positioned and the severity of the crash so the airbags could react to you? Would you expect your car to put you in a more comfortable driving position with pedals that could adjust to how long your legs are? The Taurus SE, with the most advanced safety system in its class and the only car in its class with power-adjustable pedals. Expect more. It's bred for European tastes, but built for North American desires. With a seductive, ergonomic design, provocative performance, Responsive power. Sexy, low-profile wheels, iPod in curve view, and superb handling in tight corners. Not to mention driveways, decks, and even those silly motor cars. The touch a high-pressure washer. You really have no option. Introducing Nokia Mobile Messaging. Nokia. Connecting. New from McCain.
recognized Uniroyal dealers across Canada. In racing or on the road, top quality replacement parts are a must, which is why I recommend the full range of UAP Napa parts. UAP Napa, the right brand for the job. The Nokia Briar on TSN, presented by Sheraton Hotels and Resorts, is brought to you by Ford, supporting the drive to achieve. Karcher, quality cleaning equipment. And Nokia, proud sponsor of the Nokia Briar. And it's day six, draw 15. For some teams, it's already playoff time inside the Civic Center. There are seven teams in the running for the playoffs. Here are the contenders as we look at it this morning. Three teams at seven and two, Alberta, Ontario, and Quebec. Still, Russ, there's no guarantee seven and two get you a playoff spot. Oh, they're no kidding at all. Uh, Alberta, they have two tough games, PI and Manitoba. Wayne Madaw, you know, he, he thinks he might win this one, but uh, Yukon's played really, really well. Quebec, uh, the two real tough games, and uh, New Brunswick's got an outside chance here for sure to get in this playoff if uh, if uh, the sheet uh, we're covering uh, cooperates. Manitoba, they're, they're probably in the worst situation. Their game we're covering right now, Nova Scotia, and if they lose that one, they have a must-win against Alberta, and that would be a huge game this afternoon. And at the bottom of the contenders list, still an outside shot for New Brunswick and Saskatchewan at 5-4, and four, but all the pieces of the puzzle have to fall into place. The rest of the field is out of contention. Five losses is out here on Thursday, so chance for these teams to be the spoilers here on day six. Our matchup against two teams at six and three, Nova Scotia and Manitoba, Alberta and Prince Edward Island on sheet B. Over on C, it's New Brunswick five and four, still fighting against Newfoundland one and eight. British Columbia two and seven against Quebec at seven and two. Guy Hemmings won a couple yesterday, so he is right there. Resting and waiting for the final day of the round robin, Northern Ontario, Ontario, Saskatchewan, and the territory. Ice has been great all week. All the skips concur. Reading the ice now, brought to you by Nokia. All the players I've talked to all week are just raving about the speed of the ice. It's very consistent for draw weight. It doesn't slow down and break down later in the game. Three and a half to four feet of curl into the center around the center guards, which makes it really easy to play the finesse game. Inside out, it's a little bit tougher. Though. You have to work at getting one buried. It's around three feet of curl inside out to the wings. The big story is the wide out turn, wide in turn into the middle. You're looking at four feet of curl, lots of late movement, and you can make a lot of shots with that type of ice. The only thing that's happening as the game goes along, you've got to look for a little bit straighter in the last three or four ends, a little bit straighter than uh, it was earlier in the game. Time to meet the teams in our feature match this morning. Tom Federley throws lead stones for Nova Scotia. Blaine Iskew, the second. Third is Paul Fleming, and the skip is Mark Dacey. For Manitoba, we saw these guys yesterday, but they're back again. Keith Benton, Rob Meekin, the third is Jeff Ryan, and the skip, Kerry Burton. Ready to go. Take it away. First stone for Manitoba. Yellowstone, Manitoba, Nova Garth. Scotia with yep. the Red Rocks. All that are bad. Both yep, these teams, yep, yep, a yep. win and a loss yesterday. Hard. Hard. Any contrast right in the up. styles here as you look at uh, Nova Scotia against Manitoba? Right up. Well, it's a really right interesting yeah. one. We all know what Kerry brings to the table. He uh, he can make everything. He's, he's played so well over his career and uh, no different this week. But he likes to get rocks and play. He likes to put pressure <laughs> on the opposition. and. Uh, Mark, generally, his team would play a little bit more defensively, but Mark's not afraid to uh, go after it. And uh, Mark's picked up a lot of confidence this year. He started skipping a little more. And uh, the big story on this team is Paul Fleming. Uh, Paul had a very successful uh, 99 Briar. We played Paul in the playoffs, and uh, they were a wonderful run. And uh, Paul's dropped himself down to vice, which is, uh, you know, um, you have to compliment him for doing that. And, you know, that's how you build a great team. Uh, if everybody wants to skip, it's pretty hard to build a great force. Okay, <laughs> Tom. Well, for this Nova Scotia team, their second season together out of the Mayflower Curling Club in Halifax. Exactly. Mark had a great run at the, at the uh, mix this year in uh, Weyburn, Saskatchewan. He lost the final on a uh, really tough last shot. He just jammed his last one, but uh, Whoa, Jeff. he played really, really well. Whoa, he had a lot of confidence whoa. in it. I think it spilled over to this week. Right? Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Manitoba lost a tough 7 6 extra end decision to BC last night after racking up five wins in a row. This has been okay. consistent all week. Yeah, Control. same old, same old. It really is. And that's what the curlers want. They, they, you know, if it's slow, leave it slow. If it's fast, leave it fast. And it's, it's been virtually the same, other than a couple little straight spots. The ice Whoa. has been the same all week. And that, that's why the numbers are so high with the percentages. Hard. Ice time's brought to you by Karcher. Whoa. Easy. Yep. Hard. Yep. Whoa. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Mark really did pull a rabbit out of the hat last night in that game. He, uh, he made a wonderful hit and roll uh, to steal in the 10th end. Bumper. Okay. That was against the Territories, a 6-5 win for Nova Scotia's sixth victory. Rob wait, Meekin of Manitoba wait. ranks number two among the seconds yeah, so far this yeah. week. Tucks it in behind a little bit of cover there. Interesting uh, with the two leads here, uh, you know, Keith Fenton and Tom Fetterly, they both throw three to one uh, interns, they, or out turns. Um, they, the only thing is one guy's left hand, one guy's right handed, so it's, <laughs> it's coming down the ice the other way. But so you tell me it's the same shot? It's exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I thought it was the same shot until I realized uh, <laughs> Keith's uh, left handed. So they're coming in a different direction, but they call them out turns. Well. <laughs> well, the out turn is working pretty well for Mike Weir these days. Yeah, is it ever, eh? Or the other turn. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice shot, Blaine. Nice shot there. <laughs> Blaine is you. <coughs> Those are our interval times. A lot of curlers uh, have a different systems. Some, uh, most of the Western teams uh, time from hog line to hog line. And, uh, at the Briar this week, you'd get around 13, 13 and a half. Uh, most of the teams, the 24 number makes sense. That's hog line to finish, hog line to the button. And uh, my team actually uses the full length of the ice, which is from the, the back line to the button, which in this case is around 27 and a half, 28, Good. which is just great ice. Matter of preference, obviously. Yeah, it is. And uh, what you get used to. Yeah. We use a different system because if uh, the opposition here is 27, it might throw them off. Oh. Hard. Hard. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Yep. Almost an audible then. <laughs> exactly. Good rock. Oh boy. Good shot. Good shot. Is that any good? That's a great freeze. You know, the, the freeze is the, the best shot in curling. You know, it's, it's, it takes away uh, any chance of Mark scoring a big end. He really can't defend that, and uh, Kerry can raise it later. Second stone for the Nova Scotia second. Mine's good. Root. Right 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 Mine's good. Yep. Hard. 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 Right up. Come on. Right to it. Bump it a bit. Whoa. Yep. Bump it a bit. Hard. Looking for a little bump okay, here. Hard on that, Mark. Perfect. Perfect. <clears throat> little traffic. Nice wait. That's pretty nice when you can get to the button around a center guard with both turns. And uh, in a lot of curling clubs, uh, it'll swing more in one direction than the other. And uh, we get this particular sheet, uh, it's against the wall. It's, it, there's a little bit less crowd. There's a, there's a wall hanging out over the curlers and uh, a little different airflow. And I was talking to Hans this morning, and he pointed out, and as he would know, the, uh, the intern side of the sheet uh, in the odd ends is a little bit straighter. And uh, this particular shot that Jeff's throwing right now uh, it hasn't been bending quite as much as the outturn side. Line only. Whoa. Just line. Ryan number two among thirds right at the Briar in right Ottawa. Just a little. Right on. Right on. So the Manitoba yeah. Yellowstone remains shot. <coughs> Interesting configuration it's there. Ever and uh, it's it's not perfect for either team. There's no clear cut angle raise that will uh, move the shot rock away from the button. And, uh, the other problem is they're uh, they're all buried. Uh, those are four wonderful yep. come arounds. Just uh, it's not going to take them long to catch on this morning. It looks like some of the teams like the morning ice just a little bit more. They find it easier Histori to adjust. Yeah, historically the the buildings had a chance to cool down. Uh, they raise the uh, brine temperature as soon as the curlers are off the ice at night. They'll shut all the right. plant off, 
and let the, the ice breathe a little bit. It takes a, a chance of, of any frost building up, and the, the ice is nice and green in the morning, and they turn the plant back on about 5 in the morning and get it back to the game temperature and uh, scrape it up, and it's been wonderful in the mornings. Yep, hard, move it. Hard, move the yellow. Hard. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> See what you have got, everybody. The ducks are almost all in a row. This is one of those ends that there's that those are five right. unbelievably good shots, and neither team's happy. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's made the shot they were looking for, but uh, the opportunities are not really there so far. Final stone for the Manitoba third. Jeff Ryan. Yeah, yeah. Hard. Hard. Oh, oh. Tight. Here. He's tight. He is. Oh, yep, there. Yep. Come on. Oh, oh. Yep, yep. There. Oh. Okay. All there. <coughs> what do you see, Skipper? Well, <laughs> a lot of great shots, but not too many opportunities here. This yellow one is the one that uh, Burtnick's a little worried about. He's a little bit afraid that uh, Mark can come down there and pump the yellow onto the red and move the, move the red out, but uh, or up into a shot rock position. But Mark, with last rock, he really wants to keep the front open here. He's, he doesn't want to get forced to one. He really wants whoa, to be able to juggle yeah, those around whoa. and have a shot with his last one. Whoa. Whoa, they won't yeah, even yeah, touch whoa, this whoa. one from Mark Dacey. Oh, and he clears it up neatly. Almost... Uh, <laughs> Chip that yellow stone back onto the red there. Yeah, the yellow, the yellow red at the top of the button. Uh, that's the danger rock for Kerry. Uh, if it uh, if it doesn't clear the uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kerry's yellow yeah. one on the button, uh, then he's into a bit of a problem. I can't quite. It's hard to tell from here, but uh, I don't think he has a, a choice but to guard it, uh, John. Same way. Okay. A shot. Doesn't make, make any sense to bump, eh? Now we're down to skip stones. Mark Basie will have yeah, the, red one. Okay. the last one. Burtnick ready to throw his first. Skip, you always, always want your team to leave you guards, uh, to throw some guards. That's that's always a nice feeling. But uh, the guard's a tough shot in this surface. There's so much late movement. It's it's quite easy to throw it three or four feet light and not quite get to the spot that will it'll finish. And uh, been a lot of guards missed. A little bit of room. Burtnick with a chance to protect the stone he seems yeah, most yeah. worried about at this yeah. time. Come on, hug it. Hard, hard. A little more. Okay. Got Great guard. Manitoba still with shot rock. Shot. If he tries to hit that yellow one, uh, be ready to sweep the back red one. Because it might. <coughs> yeah. So bing, bing. Let's go. <coughs> Mine didn't move a whole lot, did it? No. I think Mark's going to try the run back here. It's uh, there's really well, the angles are so uh, awkward yeah, that it's. Uh, really. If he can hammer the yellow one straight back, which is not an easy shot, the red will go into the yellow, the yellow on the red, and the red might clear past <laughs> the yellow, and Mark could possibly sit a couple here. And, and Burtnick is ready to try and get that other red stone out of the back of the house if this chain reaction does happen, <laughs> <laughs> if there's movement back there. So now we have Mark Dacey's first oh. rock yep. in the first yep. end. Ah! He didn't uh, <laughs> like that at all. It ruined everything for Nova Scotia. So now, Burtnick can not great now. go red, yellow, not and maybe have two sitting in there. Should've or maybe add a, peel a, guard. a little peel more peel protection it. for the as as Manitoba Stone. Exactly. On the left side here, it could, might be able to New Brunswick, yeah. Newfoundland yeah. on sheet C. Yeah. Jimmy Sullivan's have been very much alive in this Briar Championship. Uh, you know, he's He's got this game here. If he uh, wins this when he plays Quebec tonight, and uh, that could be for a playoff spot. And uh, they've played very well all week. And uh, pretty simple draw for two for Jim. 
There you go. Two for New Brunswick and a 2 nothing lead on Newfoundland. New Brunswick in a situation Basically, what we want to of do win, here is try and guard two win, and, guard and then hope. The yellow. So if we just put a dead guard on the yellow. And, and, and hope there's still a chance for a tiebreaker spot maybe the later. Well, their recipe to making the playoffs is the, the game we're watching. If uh, Manitoba, on, Nova Scotia, right, let's, let's assume Manitoba wins. Like uh, if Manitoba loses so their next game, the, the, the winner of this game, whoever loses their afternoon game, uh, they've got a chance. But that, that's the only Bellas scenario. We'll get it there. They have to hope for the winner of this game to actually lose the next one, which isn't a very comforting feeling, but it's... Uh, you know, they have a 50% chance after. Obviously a critical game. Manitoba, Nova Scotia, both at six and three, both gunning for a spot in the playoffs. Two wins today for either team. And that would happen, but only one of these teams, as we suggested this morning, can pick up two wins today. So here's Burtnick's last stone. And over a little farther than they would have liked. Good shot. But still a pretty nice guard. Well, with that guard there, Mark uh, Mark got a little lucky with his first one. Uh, he actually picked out the only rock that was helping him. And the way the red-yellow are lined up and they're welded okay. together, it's definitely going to jam onto the yellow one. And, and one of those yellows will stay, possibly both of them. So Mark can't take the chance of playing the upweight raise. So he really has no other choice than to try to draw one into this area and uh, get, a, get away with one point. The button, but it's available. The button is available. And that's really the only choice for the Nova Scotia skip, Mark Dacey. Now, all the teams have a 10-minute practice, and uh, I happen to watch this one because we're covering the game, and Mark threw this shot two or three times, and uh, that's something for the viewers to, to watch for. You, you, you really want to... Uh, find the path to the button in a big hurry in your practice because uh, this is Line's often good. the situation you're faced Line's with. Good. Line's a little tight. Yep. Just line. Yes. Yep, hard for weak. Hard. 13-8, it should get there. The guys think it's a little light, but it should have plenty according to our oh, clock. Look how close it is out front. Ooh, Ooh and they raise. A Manitoba stone in. One. So Manitoba, will get, Manitoba gets one. And that's a steal of one for Burtnick in one as Dacey has a little trouble out front. Gary uh. Burtnick has the lead. The Nokia Briar on TSN, presented by Sheraton Hotels and Resorts, is brought to you by your Husky and Mohawk Diesel Max Fuel Retailers. IBM, taking e-business and your business to the next level. And Nova Scotia, Canada's seacoast. Every year about the same time, same place, it's back with a blast. Another cold Canadian winter, another frozen gas line. This winter, fight back. Fill up at Husky and Mohawk with ethanol blended high performance gasoline with a built in gas line antifreeze. The ethanol blend offers added performance and a reduction of harmful emissions. This winter, you'll win with Husky and Mohawk, Mother Nature's gas stations. Business is going wireless. Can you retool to keep up? It's, it's well, now we have an 18 month infrastructure plan. My guess, you've got six months tops. Can you do it? Well, we're evaluating several options. Can you say right here, right now, that you'll be wireless ready in six months? Uh oh, don't do it, Bill. Remain calm. Well, if we need to do that, we can do that. There you go. The street's going to hold you to that, Bill. And that's when it hits you. You are so ready for IBM. Oh, Bill. Nova Scotia. Discover the sights and sounds that make us Canada's seacoast. In our music, in the excitement of our past, in our seafaring heritage, and in young hearts. It's all in our 400-page Doers and Dreamers Guide. Get your free copy today and visit us as soon as you can. Nova Scotia, Canada's seacoast.
We'd like to offer you a six-picture deal. National Post and Famous Players bring you the subscription offer of the year. Purchase a six-month subscription to the National Post and receive six single tickets to any Famous Players theater. New subscribers are also eligible to win a Famous Players big card. One year of unlimited movie going for two. And that's not all. You could be immortalized with a walk-on part in a new feature film. Call this number and subscribe today. The news. You have our word on it. National Post. Breakfast at the Briar, an extended look once more. First end on Sheet B, Alberta and Prince Edward Island. Alberta facing three. Here's the final rock for Dave Nettlewood. The throw skip rocks for Alberta. Alberta's been solid all week. They really played well. And uh, David's draw weight, he, he missed one against Gee last night. It cost him a four, but they, the boys said later they thought it might have grabbed something, hit a flat spot in the ice. But uh, he's been really solid with his draw weight and uh, makes no mistake here. Alberta tied for the top of the heap. Seven wins, two losses, and there's one for Alberta against PEI. It's been a struggle for the Islanders. Peter McDonald has, uh, after a hot start, lost a few. BC, some tough luck at times with a 1 0 lead on Quebec. And back to Sheet A. Deal of one for Burtnick in the first against Nova Scotia. Just a wonderful series of come arounds, John. Uh, well played uh, with the front ends. And uh, Mark's last one it was a really tough shot. He had to go wide and just paper by the guard. Yeah. He, it overcurled on him. That's the shot that people are missing all week, the last uh, two days at least. That go pretty the uh, good? edge of the eight, uh, middle well, 12 foot shot that's hard. really <laughs> hooking in hard go. at the end. And uh, a lot of them are wrecking on the guards. Costly error for Dacey in the first. He fented. For Manitoba. Around for the 95 win in Halifax. And the Ford World victory. Wait for it. With Burtnick and Brandon. Just wait for it. Keith Fenton. That's a good story, too. Burtnick's win in 95 in Halifax was yeah, against LP, Mark Dacey. Hard, hard, the final hard, game, uh, Mark was vice for uh, Brad Height in Saskatoon in uh, 95. And... Uh, yeah. Mark had a great briar there. He just, just made a lot of shots. And, uh, so he's, he's got a little bit of incentive to knock Burton okay. off here this morning. Back. Okay. But when you look at the yeah. standings, that seems to be incentive enough on That's true, too. <laughs> that would, yeah. Thursday if, if he wasn't too. motivated. Yeah. <laughs> Wait's good. Whoa. Mine's good. Mine's good. Whoa, way out. Close. Way out. Close. Back 12. Close. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Right off. Right off. Right off. Never. 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 Get in there, baby. Good shot, though. Duty. Let's go. Tucks in <coughs> behind that yellow guard for Nova Scotia. Pretty good start here. That's a great shot. Just wonderful. A lot of teams would have run both those yellow ones, and the danger with that is if you try to make the double, you roll out. Carey's simply going to walk up to that corner guard, peel a corner guard off, and Mark has nothing to work with to, to build up his two enders. So playing the soft weight guaranteed another rock and play and uh, saves his corner guard for later in the end. Walk out! Whoa, whoa! Whoa! Oh. Right out. What's happened here now, because Mark played a soft shot and forced Kerry to an angle raise, Kerry made the angle raise, rolled everything out of the way, but now the front's open. Mark's got a rock he can use in the four-foot area. Mine's good. He'll try to T freeze line. to that, create another miss, and then he'll go around the corner guard to set up his deuce. Mine's great. T-line. Nova Scotia with the hammer here Over in on the two. On the T-line's great. Easy. No bounce. Hurry. Gotta go. Hard. Hurry. 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 Keep her going, Mark. Go, 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 go. Get her in there. Go, go, go. Great shot. Whoa. How's that any good? Not a boy. Whoa. Almost frozen Sorry. solid. Move this, Terry. Duty. Yeah. How much? Carry well, it for you. that much. Yeah. Yeah. 
Mark's playing a textbook end here. If, if Carey decides to play the takeout and rolls all these rocks out of play, then Carey will yeah, simply come down lane. with an in out turn draw around, or an in turn draw around the corner, excuse me, and in behind the guard right. and put some pressure on Carey and actually set up his deuce. So Carey has to make a decision here whether he wants to try to pile out these out of there or maybe even What's throw that? a soft weight takeout, right. hit it on uh, the nose, and then he's in front to of move our yellow Mark's out. Rock. Nova Scotia. You don't want to leave the red shot here, rock. Then. That was just a perfect freeze. Half of the four after a lovely freeze. You got to get rid of the yellow rock. He's got to nose it. However, we choose to nose it. Hack weight or bumper weight, bumper hack weight, whatever matter. Nose it. Easy weight. There's the experience of a carry bird. You can hear them talking it over instead mm. of whipping one down there and trying to remove everything. He's going to play the soft shot, try to hit it dead on, and then put Mark in the same position he's in right now. The key here is to hit it on the nose. Doesn't matter what weight you throw, you have to hit it dead on. Rob Meekin, Manitoba second. Has made 87% of his shots this week. I don't think he wants to roll it. Go uh, did they want the roll? Okay. No, they didn't. They really had didn't. to hit that dead on. Mark set yeah. that up with a beautiful freeze. And not, not only did he jam it which you, you we knew we were going to jam That's it better. by rolling behind the guard behind the t-line it sets up a little backing for mark he's got a wonderful chance to score two or three burtnick still one in the first a lot of room tons of room thinking the same here a little less tons of room well if you can whoa whoa room Go Nova Scotia there. third, go. Paul Fleming. Come on. <laughs> go, I'm in there. I'm in there. Keep going. Fully, fully, fully. Gotta go. Hurt. Good Hurt. work by the sweepers Keep to drag it. it. Good sweep. Nice shot. <coughs> Wanted it a little deeper, perhaps. Something fell off my. Got it. We actually saw a skip sweep there, which is uh, <laughs> first time this week. I mean. <laughs> when was the last time you tidied up a little bit? Yeah, about 74, <laughs> I think. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we had two inches of snow, and I had to go do the walk. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, It's huge to get that in. They are sitting, too. Kerry can't get at yeah. them at all. It's dead buried. And uh, now, hey. now Kerry just almost has to concede hey. the deuce uh, unless he makes a perfect hit and roll. Hey. Jeff Ryan, shot. Shot. Yeah, shot. So that replaces the Nova Scotia Rock. Chance for two. It's, it's yeah. a difficult shot, I would guess. He doesn't have to hit the back. He could play the double, but. A little the, up from normal is okay. The idea is no, Mark wants to hang around good. here. Uh, and trying he to double, the double he may roll yeah, himself exactly, out, right? Exactly. So. But uh, that's not a bad idea to, idea to roll over towards that one. If he could ever make the hit and roll in behind the uh, two red ones, uh, he's got a great end looking shaping up here. The idea is to hang around, though. Whoa! Second stone, oh. Paul Fleming. Oh! oh. <laughs> yeah! yeah. Hard a pick up something? Hard a little Sorry, guys. Sorry. Well, couldn't hang around. Yeah, it did. Yeah. He was wide. So Burton quite a bit out there. Dodges a little, <laughs> a little bit there. Yeah, he certainly does. Uh, Mark still got one dead Barry. That was, uh, you know, so the two ends are still on. But uh, Kerry has a chance, maybe with a lightweight out turn tap to, or an in turn tap to move it out of the way. He only has to move it a couple inches sideways. But I think it's dead buried. This, this is no easy shot. Final stone for the Manitoba third, Jeff Ryan. Good job, Jeff. So all of a sudden, there are three Manitoba Yellow Rocks in the house. Wonderful shot. We're live and interactive at tsn.ca slash curling. Stats and information. Online chats. I don't think could still be there. Questions for the two-time champ. Two-time champ of the world. I mean, <laughs> were you throwing heavy weight back then? 
No, actually, I probably throw it harder now than I uh, did back then. We kind of played the Heart. soft stuff. Didn't get into that uh, peeling. Uh, you have to be able to do it now to stay with those young guys. <laughs> well, you could have been the two-time heavyweight champion. Of the <laughs> <laughs> I walked into that one. <laughs> well, nice response by the Nova Scotia team. Good. Now sticking sticking up for the skips, uh, Mark Daisy actually made that shot for Paul. Paul threw a beautiful rock, but Mark had to call the sweeping absolutely to perfection to make the <laughs> double. And uh, Kerry's going to have to make a really nice freeze to get out of this mess. Nova Scotia has really set up the end well. Yeah, they I mean, have. The points aren't on the board, yeah. but the opportunities are definitely well, there. Uh, Paul's first one picked, and uh, that cost him. He certainly had a two-ender all day. Yep. And uh, the bad news here, that even though he made the double, he's behind the T line, and. Uh, uh, not that he had a choice. He was going to be behind the T-line by making the double, but uh, the way Kerry's been drawn all week, he'll uh, he'll weld one to the top of this and uh, make it very difficult for Mark to score two. Five straight wins over a stretch for Burtnick this week. Beat the territories, Quebec, New Brunswick, PEI, and yep, Saskatchewan before a loss to BC last Whoa. night. Easy, easy. Line's good. Well, well. Clean it. Clean it. Back eight. Line's good. Clean whoa, it. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's back eight. Whoa. Whoa, never. Whoa. Oh, well, that's what we were. Whoa, right off. Whoa. Right off. Whoa. Nice there shot. you go. He'll <clears throat> sit shot there. <laughs> Great shot. And make it fairly, or at least a little bit more difficult Second. for Nova Scotia over on D. Second in DC. Leading Guy Hemmings of Quebec, and here's Guy in the hack. Air is nicely done this morning. Free freeze. <laughs> free freeze right on the tee line. Even if you just nudge them a bit because they're pretty frozen on you. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is one of the best sweeping front ends in the uh, in the in the whole country, John. They just they judge the rock perfectly. Hit for a deuce. And the lead. Has there been a newspaper that Guy hasn't been on the front page oh, of in geez, Ottawa this week? He's huge news. The, the crowd just loves him. It's just a lot of room. Well, we've talked Line's about him good. a little bit, but he is terrific yeah. for the game. He really, yeah. really gets people excited. Line's good. Line's good. Nova Scotia, Manitoba, Hard. both at Hard six and three. Hard. Key game this morning. Hurry, guys. Keep it all the way. Hard. Hard. Got to move it now. Hard. Hard all the way. No. Hard. Hard. Come on. Quick. Hard, Wayne. Hard. Hard. Keep right up. Keep going. First right, rock okay. for Mark okay. Dacey. He's got backing. How good is that? And he's the shot stone. <coughs> a, shot, right? a lot of great freezes in this game already. There's four or five in the first and two in a row here. And uh, Kerry can't do anything with that. He, he virtually has to freeze to the corner. But what we've seen in this game so far, first end in a bit here. <laughs> with three rocks to go in the second, we've seen just about every shot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All varieties here. Lots of freezes. Drawing wells, a couple of nice takeouts, a double. Well, the boy, this is a playoff game, really, yeah. in, in their minds, and they have they have to they have to let it happen today. There's no tomorrow, and uh, they both teams have played extremely well already. I don't think Kerry has a choice here. I think he has to just come down same as uh, Mark did. But the real problem is he has to freeze for shot rock. If it over curls, uh, th there's no way he can possibly uh, possibly get shot, and Mark will have a free draw for two. So. So where does Burtnick really want to put this? Well, actually, he's decided he's uh, he's actually decided he's going to uh, he's going to hit the thing. I, I didn't realize. Yeah, he could probably see a little Just bit of it. Last. He's going to throw a normal weight hit and try to pick it out clean, and uh, that's a tough shot. Hit hard. Final ah. stone, Kerry Burtnick, Manitoba. Hooray. Going after ah. it here. Oh. And he missed out front. So is there? chance for three I don't think so no. I think the yellows uh, lined up on the back red uh, Mark can't do much with that but he he but sure the uh, yeah, he sure the two ender yeah. it's, uh, <laughs> as Wayne as Wayne Madaw would say it's a two ender unassisted that's a good ball Kerry really didn't have much room for error there I, I was uh, surprised he even tried it but that's good. Uh, yeah. you don't criticize Kerry Burtnick he makes those all the time but uh, just caught the guard and Mark's had a real good opportunity for the deuce. 
I've well, noticed Mark in, took, like, in this particular shot, he's, he's going to throw the same shot he just threw. He, he does this a lot. He, like, line, he, he can take the out turn or he can take a lot more ice on the intern side and just simply draw the button. But he threw this shot. He's comfortable that he can do it again. And uh, they just put the broom in the same spot, throw the same weight, and the sweepers know the path. Final stone, second in. Chance for a couple for Nova Scotia's Mark Dacey. In a critical game against Manitoba. The hardest part on television is trying to explain the, the, the different speeds. Like this particular spot is exactly where he threw the first one. If he takes three feet more ice, it might be eight feet slower or six feet slower or two feet faster. And so it's, it makes it makes a lot of sense to throw the same shot twice. I think we're fine. Some worry this might have been a little hot, but that's not the case. Two red. Nova Scotia into the lead on Manitoba as we head to the third end on final day play in the round robin at the Nokia Briar. for the rivers and mountains. Penny's our gardener. She's blooming smart, naturally. Folks come in. We know what they need. Drop by for some advice. I'll show you how to tie a fly. True value. Help is just around the corner. If you can't stop here, Stop here for 25% off the regular price of Midas VSD brake pads and shoes. They've got a lifetime guarantee and they're the best we've ever offered. They're quieter, they stop faster, and last longer. And if they wear out, we'll provide you with new ones at no charge for as long as you own your car. So for 25% off VSD brakes, go Midas. Great, mom will save me. With MSN Messenger Service and your MSN.ca homepage, you can talk online with your friends and family by text or voice, all in real time. What's flambe? It means to set on fire. How much salt? Just a pinch. Thanks, Mom. Oh, and if you really want to impress her, don't wear that flowered shirt. Wow. When did the financial revolution begin? Wasn't it yesterday when everything started to change? We were made for this revolution. Today, we are one of the largest financial services companies on Earth, working in over 60 countries. Want to manage your money in ways that fit these new times? Remember our name, IMG. Welcome back. It's breakfast at the Briar, and our extended coverage continues as we're over on Sheet B, Alberta, and Prince Edward Island. Last shot for Peter McDonald in the Hi. second end. Facing a couple of red stones. The race is one, counts one, it's even. It's been a great week at the Civic Center in Ottawa. The last time the Briar was here, Russ Howard was the champion. <laughs> Many moons ago. Well, it's not all that long ago. <laughs> is it? <laughs> it seems like it. <laughs> that was back in 1993, of course. Not heavy. Copy. <clears throat> now Russ is in semi-retirement, at least for the week, right? <laughs> like exactly. some more. <laughs> Fight the four. Have a look. Have a look, Wayne. Easy. Have a look. It's sliding pretty good. Have a look. Fight okay. of the four. Hard. 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 Hard.
Nice. Well played in by Mark Dacey of Nova Scotia for two. Hi, I'm Keith Fenton. I'm from Winnipeg, Manitoba, and I'm a sales rep for Lightmore Distributors. We gotta go. Is he good? Whoa, 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 whoa. The, uh, the whole end uh, that Mark played was perfect, other than the one that uh, Paul Fleming's had picked. He still managed to recover with a beautiful freeze. But what set up the entire end is the corner guard, which uh, Keith Fenton just thrown up for Manitoba. Okay, guys. That's the key shot. That's what dictates all the finesse play. If that corner guard that isn't there, it's just a hitting yeah. contest. And uh, it's so important to do that. Hi, I'm Tom Federley. I'm from Halifax, Nova Scotia. I have a I'm beautiful 14-year-old daughter yeah, named Jenny. And I own a medical distribution Heart. company in Halifax called Thanks, Medical Tech Atlantic. Line's good. Line's okay. good. Heart. Line's great. Help. Tom has been curling 34 years. Here, I got it. I got it. Native Haligonian. Keep it going. Keep going. Go, go. <laughs> okay. Get. Back 12. Okay. You get the roll, eh? Bump it back, back here. Okay. You see it? Yeah. What? Second shot for the Manitoba back line lead, yeah. Keith Fenton. I love yeah. this. I love this call by Kerry. He, uh, you don't have to remove the red rock. You want to get it behind the T line, and you can use it later for backing and freeze to it as Mark did the previous end. And uh, most teams would like to throw a little heavier weight, and knock this right out of there. But uh, Kerry doesn't care if it stays in the rings. Is that what they called for? Yeah, a shade heavier than it had to be, but it, it, knocking other rings obviously doesn't hurt either. But uh, the ideal was to get as close to the guard as he could, and, and he did. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you're a little more than half, okay. Oh, it might have been an inch and a half there yeah. when you looked at the <laughs> overview. It's, it's fun to watch the precision this week. And, uh, again, it's uh, we've said it all week. The ice, uh, the ice makes all the curlers look Heart. good, and uh, they'll actually admit that Heart. in the briar patch later. Three, pop, pop, yes, pop, pop, right up, roll it away. Part of the roll, Tom. Part of the roll, right over. Over. Hard, 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 hard. <coughs> like the hit and roll? Find the draw. Hit and roll or draw? Well, you know, I I think Kerry's going to draw. That's a, that it's it's not in the best position that rock, but he's he's an aggressive player. Hi, I'm Rob Meekin. I live in Winnipeg, and I'm a sales manager for Pro Components. Oh, I might be there. 295. 295? Clean yeah. it! Clean Lots it! Lots of weight! Yeah! Lots of weight! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! whoa. 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 Plus. Whoa. Back eight. Coming around whoa. now. Will they get it by? Yes. Oh, coming down. Uh, uh, a bit. Deeper than desired. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and it would have been nice to be top four, top eight, but the the scoreboard dictated that call. A carry, if he was winning or tied, he probably would have hit the red rock because the red rock is a danger rock, and that could come back to haunt him. Hi, I'm Blaine Iskew from Halifax, Nova Scotia, and I'm a graduating kinesiology student at Dalhousie Rip. University. Got the weight on, didn't it? Oh. Iskew in his second briar played third oh. for Fleming oh. in Edmonton in. 1999. Back eight. Right off. Curl, baby. Curl. Finish. Curl. There's good. the finish. Good. Fine. That's a good shot. Again, uh, just a, you know, would have been nice to freeze it right up there, but it's, uh, yeah. it's, it's, it's in a good position. There's no question about it. Well. Manitoba has the hammer in three. Hey! It's really been oh. breakfast with Burtnick the last couple of days, hasn't it? Yeah, we've covered Kerry a lot. <laughs> and, uh, he's exciting to watch. And, but uh, this this is a huge game. If he ever uh, if he ever loses this one and he's uh, facing Randy Furby in the whoa, afternoon whoa, whoa, uh, with a must win, uh, he's gonna he's got a long day ahead of him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Other important whoa. games oh, Jeff. Yeah. on the ice here this yeah. morning, but this is the critical on, match with two teams at six and three. 
and battling for a playoff spot. He's there. Good work on this. They drag it just in front of the tee, or at least on the tee. Well, Manitoba is hitting shot right now. Just freeze after freeze after freeze. It's wonderful to see. And uh, you know, the, the angles have to be right. The speed has to be correct. And the sweepers aren't oversweeping. And that's the big problem with the freeze. They usually oversweep. How many back-to-back -back freezes did we see in that first game? Hi, my hand? name is that's Paul right. Fleming. I live in Muscadabit Harbor on the eastern shore of Nova Scotia. And I own a fish and chip restaurant there called Harbor Fish I've and Fries. room. It's top four. Room. Whoa, no more than top four. High's better. Uh, Mine's good. Right off. Stay with it. Stay with it. Now off. Off, 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 off. Freeze one right Mark wanted that rock off oh. there, and that's the problem with the freezes. They have to be absolutely precise. By just, and it, there's two ways, again, we've talked about it before. You, you could miss light, you can miss heavy. You had to miss light there. Top of the eight would have been fine, but now uh, Kerry can uh, roll those other and possibly sit two. Freeze to a yellow one. Manitoba will think about this next shot. Freeze to yellow. Yeah, that's probably a pretty Veteran good shot. Third. Just freeze right in there. Jeff Ryan. Okay. Well, as long as... As long as if he freezes to us, he's not got a second shot. Yeah. Okay. Hi, my name is Jeff Ryan. I live in Winnipeg, and I'm the business manager at Midtown Ford in Winnipeg. What is it? What is it? Critical shot from Manitoba here. Good line. Good line. Clean it. Clean it. Just a freeze. Hard. Just a freeze. Hard. Hard, guys. Hurry. Hard. Hard. Hurry. Hard. Hurry. Hard. Right up. Come on. Hard. Hard. Hurry up. Into the four. Do you hey. like that? For well, again, positioning. Again, better light than heavy. Uh, they were in a perfect that. world. They would have wanted that frozen top of the button, and there's no way of uh, Mark removing it. He can now hit it very thin and maybe get rid of both yellows, but uh, light is still better than heavy. If uh, Mark's got a pretty tough shot here. Double okay. is pretty tough, though, as you look at it, Russ, isn't that? Yeah, it really is. He has to hit it. Mark has to. He's looking at about an inch to an inch and a half of the rock. That's I all he can afford to hit. And sit right here. Yeah. Tap yellow onto yellow just to yep. move him around a little bit. Yep. Same kind of weight. Yep. Back four. Yeah. Do you go yeah, for it? Side. Do you go for the go two? I, I, I would have liked to double myself. It's a very tough double, but uh, Mark's decided with the weight he's throwing, he's going to leave both yellows in the rings. and. That's a little bit dangerous when Kerry Burtnick's got a lot of shot. This Whoa. cannot be heavy. A little left. A little blind. Got to curl. Got to curl. Wait. Wait's close. Right off. Right there. Yep. Just, right off. Just breathe, maybe. Just Up the foot. Oh, it's T line puff. Needs T line. Tough shot for Nova Scotia. Ooh. Ooh. That's a boo-boo. Yeah. Uh, you know, that, that was the problem with playing the shot. It had to be absolutely perfection. And, uh, you know, Mark's team's played that well, so he's not that worried about it. But he's, he's certainly set up a situation that uh, Kerry can capitalize on. Well, had you gone for the double and just gotten one rock out of there, you would have been in better shape exactly. than, than this. You're absolutely correct. And uh, you have to realize that, you know, you don't have hammer here. You can't bail yourself out. And uh, certainly the uh, oh, Manitoba come down here with lots of weight, and okay. they, they can actually blow all three of them out of there. And I think I think can sit four. Jeff hits us dead on the nose. The two, the, the top two, are going to fly, and he can get the back one too. Whoops! Chance for four if the shooter Bar. remains, or at least a chance to sit four. One. Well, they moved Yellowstones out of there too, and. Uh, the Nova Scotia Whoop. rock will remain the shot, so well, not quite. No, Jeff Jeff was okay. tight on that one. You okay. could tell by Kerry's call. And, uh, you know, he probably tried to throw a little more weight. You get a little bit out of your comfort zone. It's it's no different than uh, trying to get the six iron over the water when you should have been hitting the four. <laughs> not the desired result <laughs> at all, so. Drew tight. 
Dacey gets out of out of a bit of a jam without the final rock here in three. I love the comment there, oh, uh, Kerry saying, uh, you know, that bent quite a bit. He's trying to keep, say to Jeff, you really, really weren't that bad. And Jeff said, listen, I threw it tight. <laughs> That's mark of a good team. Uh, you know, a lot of us will try to run around, find an excuse for why uh, we missed the shot. In reality, he knows why you missed it. You got to do it now? You think he'll play that now? Yeah. Okay. Yep, let's go. Get a little heavy, rip, rub off and roll in. Uh, Mark's discussing the fact that uh, going nuts here. there's a lot of yellow in there Mark and they can't be removed. All yeah. four of them are Let's buried. And, uh, gotta miss that high yellow, the good news is Mark shot rock, but Kerry's uh, got two more shots at the far end to do a lot of damage here. So Mark's going to try to slide yeah, another one in, sit two, and, and possibly bury one of them by uh, tapping the shot rock back and rolling in behind the center guard. you got to get by that, but then you also got to get across the face of the red. So it's got to be pretty perfect. I'm more concerned about line than weight. Yeah. Hi, my name is Mark Dacey. I'm from Halifax, Nova Scotia. I have a beautiful wife named Heather, and I work as a golf professional at Fairview Hills Golf Center. A lot of curling golf pros around. Yeah, they really right? are. <laughs> <They're> really <laughs> are. Good. Yep, hard. Uh, it, it, both sports Both are really yeah. similar strategy-wise and patience. Oh. And, uh, and the seasons right are the seasons uh, work out real nice. Here's Daisy. Got a break on the last shot by Manitoba. Can he take advantage of it here? He can't hit that yellow. One we couldn't touch. Yeah, that's <laughs> exactly it. They were actually trying to play off the shot stone a little bit more. See more ice. Said to him, I said, I didn't care about weight. It was always if I top yellow or green. Uh, if anybody in the crowd knows. Uh, which way Mark didn't want to wreck was uh, Heather. Heather's a very accomplished girl. They lost the, the, uh, the Canadian final in the mix this year. But, um, I, Kerry, uh, Kerry's going to, he's licking his lips here now. If he can, he can throw enough weight and get the inside of this one, get about half the back one. The back one, he might get lucky and get it into this area. He can sit two or three at least. But most importantly, I think Kerry would like to roll his shooter this way. Not oh. that way. That would be backwards. But he <laughs> wants to roll it in behind here somewhere. There you go. He could. I, he can certainly sit three here, John, and he might. He might get lucky and roll the uh, back red off and sit four or five. Bumper. This all started yeah. when Mark didn't play that double that we talked about earlier, and you know it's easy to criticize after the fact, but uh, without hammer leaving uh, the opposition rocks around, you're you're really asking for trouble. Well, the double might have been a difficult shot as we looked at it. Yeah, it but was. Then it he was. He did. Not only didn't play it, but he didn't make the shot that he that he decided to to exactly. go with instead. Exactly. Then they get an opportunity on a miss by Ryan, and now a uh, pile of trouble here. Oh yeah. Hi, my name is Kerry Burtnick. I live in Winnipeg, and I'm an investment advisor at Wellington West Capital. Fourth trip to the Briar for Burtnick, the youngest skip ever to win it at age 22 in 1981. He's been there and made the shot. And there's another one for Burtnick, although rolls a little farther. Looks like he's sitting two. Now he just had two. to hit another inch yeah. of that, and he had Mark Dacey in one pile of trouble. Just cut. Uh, just cut. <laughs> I think that mess, miss was set up by Jeff, really. It, uh, it bent a little more than they expected, and uh, Jeff shot pool carry a little bit. I don't see a rock going between that three and seven there, Paul. No? That's not the size Back of the Back off the okay. second yellow stone, which okay. was second shot for Manitoba prior to that. Mine was coming over. I mean, and then the shooter on well, top I'll of that. More, I'm going to get more curl. What? Take more, I'm going to get more curl. Just put it on the back of the button, back four, we're safe. This rock here is the only one that's saving Mark at the moment. If that wasn't there, he'd be drawn against five without hammer, and uh, that's not a very comforting feeling when, when Kerry on Burton gets one more stone. Okay. Mark's going to have to lay one in there and try to freeze that's it into this situation down. here and okay, stop Kerry from making the double, but he can't make the same there. mistake he just <laughs> made. He ticked on the guard, rolled <laughs> open, and that'll give Kerry a, a shot for at least four or five if he rolls open. No pressure here at all. 
Well, it's tough, too, because, you know, Mark's thinking the same way. I can't miss this way. I can't do this. I can't do that. And, you know, next thing you know, you're afraid to throw the darn thing. <laughs> but he, the, the good news for Mark is there's a tremendous wall at the back. And if he can negotiate past the rock at the top of the forefoot, uh, four. Kerry's not going to have much no of a bounce. shot left. No bounds. Mine's good. Back four. Final okay. stone for Nova Scotia's Mark no Dacey. Bounce. Mine's good. Yep. Mine's Mark. good. Manitoba will Ruth, have the hammer Ruth. and a chance to respond no to this. Guys. Lots of room. No bounds. Oh, he's got a beauty here. He should settle down in there as long as he doesn't move that red one very far. That a boy. Great shot. So there's backing on the Nova Scotia stone. Heather's a little happier now. Heather liked that shot. <laughs> Last time we saw her, she was covering her face a little bit. Uh, I think uh, Kerry let one get away there. He had, uh, you know, that uh, double take was not easy at the best of times. But if he'd, he'd made that first one, uh, shot, right? this shot would be for four or five. I think. <laughs> as it is. A deuce possible here. I think there's enough room. Uh, Mark bumped the red one enough that if Kerry bumps the red no. one back, yeah, I think he'll sit too. But it's, 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 it's looking like a measure, really. It's very close. That's enough? Yeah? Yeah. A lot of yellow in there, Jeff. Not in very good spots, though. Manitoba one and one yesterday. So was Nova Scotia. That was a wonderful opportunity Kerry had. He just uh, just couldn't quite pull off the double. I don't know whether he can bump this enough to sit to. It's going to be very close. Burtnick's final stone. We're in the third. Nova Scotia with a one point lead. Clean. Good. Whoa. It's clean. Whoa. 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 Whoa for line. Whoa. Not much more you can do than that. He put it right on the button. No. And now, it's enough. second shot. <laughs> I'm thinking I guess red. Yeah, I guess, the they I guess they decided they couldn't bump it onto the back red and sit two, but uh, looks like one, and uh, <laughs> Mark dodged another bullet. <laughs> Critical game. Couple of mistakes by both teams. Manitoba, Nova Scotia, even again at two. Millions of the world's children suffer from blindness and infection. With biotechnology, we can provide better nutrition to help relieve that suffering. My crop could soon contain more vitamins and nutrients. Biotechnology is developing ways to combat childhood diseases and offering the hope of more nutritious harvests. From medicine to agriculture, it's providing solutions to improve lives today and our world tomorrow. Discover the sights and sounds that make us Canada's seacoast. In our music, in the excitement of our past, in our seafaring heritage, and in young hearts. It's all in our 400-page Doers and Dreamers Guide. Get your free copy today and visit us as soon as you can. Nova Scotia, Canada's seacoast. In racing or on the road, top quality replacement parts are a must which is why I recommend the full range of UAP Napa parts. UAP Napa, the right brand for the job. Hurry. Available at all authorized Uniroyal dealers across Canada. The power of diesel is now even more powerful with the all-new Diesel Max. Fill up a Husky or Mohawk and improve the overall performance of your diesel-powered car or truck. Diesel Max makes engines run stronger, smoother, and perform longer with less maintenance. And Diesel Max burns cleaner, reducing harmful emissions over conventional diesel fuels, showing a big improvement in mileage. It's time for Diesel Max, improving performance and saving you money. Available only at your Husky and Mohawk retailers. 
Around the world, mothers want to protect and nourish their children. So biotechnology researchers are working to develop a more nutritious strain of rice. This new strain of rice could help nourish children in need around the globe. From medicine to agriculture, biotechnology is providing solutions that are improving lives today and could improve our world tomorrow. Welcome back, an extended look. Here on day six, draw 15, Alberta against PEI. And Randy Furby is, well, it's just like Thanksgiving down there. He's facing a houseful. <laughs> Dave Nettleman shot. This is what the curly's been talking about all week. Look at the late movement here. This this gets by the guard by a fair amount, but watch the, the bend at the, the late finish at the end. The sweeper's sweeping perfectly, and it just, just hooks like crazy. Little tap back for one red. Alberta has the lead on PEI once more. Over on sheet D, Dean Jonice of BC at two and seven, giving Guy Hemmings at seven and two a little bit of a run this morning. Uh, freebie for three here, and uh, you know Quebec had to be worried about uh, BC that. Dean beat uh, the defending world curling champion to get here, and uh, Greg McCauley beat Pat Ryan, he beat Rick Folk. Uh, he wasn't going to keep losing games here forever, and uh, you know they're, they're in a battle here right now. First time Briar experience for Jonice, and that's been part of his problem this week with the record, but he's been in a couple of close games, so he's giving Guy Hemmings a little run here at 4-2, picking up three there. Well, lots of important games going on here on draw 15, but this is the most critical for the matchup because both teams want to win this one. Nova Scotia and Manitoba. Yeah, that's uh, the fourth loss is a big one. Uh, you know, Mine's good. Kerry's got a, uh, a tough game against Alberta Mine's this good. afternoon. Uh, Mark good plays line. P.I. who's due Mine's for a win good. also. They, they started so well at the start of the week and they, you know, they've had a tough finish, but uh, room, they're going to be playing tough too. Yep, yep, yep. Up hard. Up. Come on. Right back. Hard. 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 Finish. Uh, finish. Uh, you're good. Finishing. No. Back yep. wall. Back wall. Back wall. Okay. Whoa. Mine's Whoa. Good. Go soon. Yep. Yep. Hard all the way now. Hard. They'll get it by. Right Want it for weight now. Right up. Right Decent up. amount of room to spare. He's eight. Okay. Hey, Sha. And we'll mind that Manitoba stone hanging exactly. around. Exactly. Same as we talked about la last time with Kerry. Uh, leaving it in there is not a problem. Uh, Mark's got the hammer. He's got a rock in where he wants it. And he can use that yellow one later for a freeze opportunity. And, uh, it does carry really no good. Mark's going to make his last shot better than that one. And uh, it's just a bit of debris down there that uh, could affect Manitoba's chances. Yeah. Hard? Hard. 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 Harder. Harder. All the way. Right up. Right to the rock. Right to the rock. Hard. Oh, yep. Shot. Slightly different end building here. New Brunswick, <laughs> Newfoundland. Ah. New Brunswick at the hammer and the lead. Jim Sullivan shot. We played Jimmy quite a bit yeah. over the years, obviously, coming from the same province. And, uh, you know, we talked about them being a defensive Whoa. team. They like to hit, they like to throw the big weight. But Jim Sullivan's draw percentage this week is better than anybody's. He's made a lot of beautiful draws, the real big ones. He played one against BC that was incredible to win that game, and uh, he makes no mistake here. Another fine draw for New Brunswick. And a 3-1 lead on Newfoundland. New Brunswick at five and four coming in, so there's still an outside chance, but everything has to fall in place for the two teams at five and four, New Brunswick and Saskatchewan. 
Yeah, they need a bit of outside assistance, and uh, that's not a very good feeling. But, uh, you know, they have to focus on what they're doing out there. And I talked to them before the game, and that's what Charlie said. He said, let's let's worry about ourselves. Let's not worry about the other game. And the game we're watching very closely this morning, our feature match, is critical for both teams, but both teams as it sits right now in control yeah, I'll clean the of how they finish here. Yeah, and that's that's wonderful. You know, you can uh, you're that close. So you've played all year to get this far, and uh, you know it's uh, they're tired and they're worn out mentally. But uh, you know, two two wins today, and they're in great shape. Manitoba has Alberta in the final drop. Nova Scotia goes against PEI tonight. So they'll have the afternoon off to uh, think about things. And the winner, of course. Has a good opportunity, excellent chance to be around. Nice good, got the weight, Mark. Playing on the weekend, or at least Room. playing yeah, you better in the playoff. Right on. Right on. Oh. Wait, no. Too no. long. Right on. No, never. Stay, Stay above the tee. Now. Yeah. Stay above the tee. That's all. We talked about the, in the ice reading segment about it being a little bit straighter inside out, and the wide shots curling into the middle really hook. And Mark made a great play there by going on the intern side out in the weeds, as we call it. And in a normal curling club, you wouldn't even try that shot because it'd be frosty, or there'd be a buildup of pebble, or there'd be little softer spots out there because of the different maintenance techniques that are used at clubs compared to uh, this type of championship. But that rock band in there, that's buried by a foot and a half, and it's uh, Kerry can't get at it with the intern. Here's Not Jeff there. Ryan's shot. Whoa. Whoa. Room, a lot more rocks room, in play whoa. in the early Whoa, ends. We're room. now in four. Whoa. Only four points on the board. Whoa, 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 whoa. Leave it high. Yeah. Leave it high. Leave it high. Okay. The trick with this shot that Kerry's just thrown First is you shot. have to get at least one inch, two inches buried around the guard out front. Try and tap if through. that rock's wide yeah. open, uh, Mark Daisy can obviously hit and roll inside and okay. put a lot of pressure on Kerry, but simply leaving it in front of the red one, play, tight, slightly buried, okay. puts a lot of pressure on Nova Scotia. Just back line. Didn't do anything crazy today. Well, same shot I had there. Mark's going to give it a try, but he has to throw a very soft way to uh, to be able to get Paul Fleming's rock to bend past the guard to hit enough of that yellow one so he doesn't jam it. And again, ah. you have to miss this one narrow. You can't Whoa, be missing Lord. this one wide. Whoa! 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 Clean right off. Whoa! Off. Over if you can. Final right. stone, ah. Paul Fleming. Not quite. Holy. No. Sit, sit, sit. No one hung around. Who nice did it? Got a boy. Good shot. First stone for Paul Fleming. So here's sheet B, fourth end, Alberta. They're both in. Leading PEI 2-1. Yeah. I think we got to go Final here. Final shot. Cut. Cut. Peter McDonald. <coughs> Good start for Prince okay. Edward Island. It's oh, been a tough right. finish. <laughs> yeah, they had kind of had the same disease as the girls from the island had. Uh, Shelly Bradley had a wonderful, wonderful start and uh, just, just lost a couple of tough ones at the end of the week. That'll do for two for Prince Edward Island. And a 3-2 lead on Alberta. Whoa. Clean it. Whoa. 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 Lots of weight. Whoa. Whoa. Lots of weight. Whoa. Back eight. And here Whoa. again, the ice has set this shot up. Uh, Mark Daisy with, Whoa. you know, with the hammer sitting two. Kerry would, uh, you know, in normal circumstances, take one of those rocks off and try to limit Mark's, uh, Mark's scoring opportunities. Rock. But there's so much movement on that intern side. Kerry was quite confident he could bury one, and uh, by burying it, it's going to be tough for Mark to remove it, which eliminates the two red rocks. Which way? Manitoba shot in the eighth. Just a great, over here, isn't it? Just a great call. Yeah, it would be so tempting to bail out and hit a red one, okay. but uh, the experience to Kerry Burtnick decide to go around. I, I like the play. I don't think Mark can throw enough weight to move that one out, so he simply has to freeze in front of it. Rim. That just about eliminates the two outside red ones. Hard! Mine's Three! good. Mine's good. Rim. Four foot. Top four. Top four. Whoa. Top four. No. Gotta finish the bit. No. Just clean it. No. No. Above the seat. Above the seat. Okay. Thank you. Shot. Okay. Shot. So on the tee. In the Thanks. four. Sorry about that first. Quickly to BC <laughs> Quebec on sheet D, fourth end. 
He had a real tough draw. He had to go wide and uh, with the late movement, just overthrew it a wee bit, and that's, that's a big steal for BC. And a 5 2 advantage for British Columbia. And Dean Jonice coming into this. Quebec with the front runners at 7 and 2. So lots of things wow. can happen on the final day of the round robin. It's a humbling sport. You know, uh, Dean's been What's struggling that? all week. They've been close, but uh, no cigar. And uh, they're, they're finally putting it together it'll, it'll at the end at uh, Quebec's expense. Three teams at 7 and 2 coming in Alberta, Ontario, Quebec. 7 and 2 with two draws to go. Still no yep. guarantees as they began play yeah, this that, morning. That's so. the amazing part. Uh, we, we always have the, a real race for the third and fourth playoff spot, but the, the number one team, whoever you want that to be, there's three teams at seven and two. They, they're not guaranteed much at all. Yeah. Line only. Hip. Yeah. Hard. Hard. Burtnick coming the same way again. They have to work on this to get it by the guard. Oh. Whoa. 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 Let it finish. The finish. That's unbelievable. That, <laughs> that rock bent at least three feet from the hog line, and he papered it by the guard. And uh, a little bit of a right turn. I don't. Yeah. I don't think Mark can get at that one. Uh, you know, unless he he hits it over the guards with a wedge or something. I, there's that's oh, just yeah, a great shot. The rope here, you know. Yet. Oh. And here's I guess the I band. Can steal the red off. He has to protect this and go off one. Such late yeah. finish is so yeah. hard for the sweepers to predict. The they they have to understand the weight. They have to understand the path. The rocks the coming down. The boys knew there was going to be a lot of finish there, but it would be tempting to sweep it early to get it by the guard. And the, the weight had to be unbelievably perfect there to be shot rock. And just the little tap at the end. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Makes it. If you feel it, you feel it. Makes the rock, makes the stone. That's good, eh? Um, no sit your berries. Well, the double peel do for us. It's not the end of the world, I right? Well, it gives him a chance to come in on the intern. No, I mean, Nova double Scotia has long ones. Hit the red, hammer, two play. shots the to come. The shooter rolls over, hits the yellow that way, and the shooter then spins up on our play. Then he'll probably protect, He's got guard protect this. that. Yeah. This could be more room for my draw. It's the yeah. same thing as peeling the red. It doesn't really make a difference. Yeah. Well, do you want to try the nose hit? Boy, if I just miss it and flip the back red, and well, if I flip the red, it should go into the two. No. I want to make sure we get a point now. Me too. Just peel the red. Okay. Want me to stand back here? Two choices here. Mark was thinking for a while the double peel to remove both yellow ones. He might get lucky in the house, but at least open the forefoot well, up. Well, would be a little scary, Paul. But if I think he's going to go with the other option by raising one, the red one in. in like that, yeah. then we're in big, big, big trouble. Always makes more sense to raise your own color in than the oppositions. And uh, if, if he gets well, lucky, if he if hits the yellow dead nose, on, he can, uh, he can actually sit one here. I don't so you'd, you'd like the double raise on yellow? Red, yellow he was yellow. Look, I, no, I, yeah. like, I like the red. You like what he's doing, yeah. yeah. He was looking at the double raise, but, uh, I mean, you know, obviously, that's even harder. Shot, yeah. It's another combination he doesn't need, and and I certainly like bringing the red one in. Nose hit. Okay. Feel. Yeah. I'll stand back here. Okay. Use some ice. Probably just ice on the nose or a little bit. Side. Love the way these guys communicate. Uh, you know, Paul being a skip would be you pretty like easy for him to, uh, especially skipping the same feel. guys, to, well, uh, like to, to voice his opinion uh, if I don't make quite it, strongly. Like sure but he, uh, it, so he has he'll to talk to Mark to okay. decide what Mark feels and uh, let him go with it. And uh, th that's so ball. key because uh, Mark's the guy at the far end that has to make this Good. darn thing. <clears throat> Playing four first shot more. for the Nova Scotia skip, Mark Dacey. Okay, good try. But it's, it opens it up a little bit for, and will force Burtnick to uh, think a little bit differently now, will it not? Yeah, I think so. There's a little bit of a hole. There's still two. Marks, the bad news for Marcus is guard stayed out there, but uh, there's a little bit of a hole. I just don't know how it lines up on the yellow rock. But uh, in there. Kerry's yellow one is a pretty safe. He not only managed to bury it, he got shot rock, but he's a bit frozen. He's so got no shot here the decision here would be to either guard that hole out it. front or not actually draw in for another one. Well, they're giving it a long look here. Burtnick with third, Jeff Ryan. Yeah, just... yeah I think we got to play that. Guard or come in? You guys like the wide guard or do you I like come that? in? <laughs> you get right to here. They don't seem to be too concerned about the hole, so maybe the angles the aren't quite right. No, no, so they know you're guarding that. 
lot of beef for one, Rob. Let's go this way. Well, you come here. Ah. Burtnick looking to set up a steal in four. Fourth appearance in the Briar. Two-time champ. Mentioned the youngest Briar champion in 81. Where do you want this, Kerry? Like Carried a good goal trail this year and always does. Judge? He's or always friendly in the top okay. one, two, three, or four teams in the in the entire country every single year in the goal trail. And, uh, the Aramark. They travel a lot. They work at the game. <laughs> and uh, you, you just know what you're going to get with Kerry. Good solid curling. First time back at the Briar since 95. Yeah, he lost the final Rope. in uh, Manitoba three years in a row. And, uh, that's Play a, it. That's yep. so tough because, you know, that one Rope. game, a sudden death game. It's a, Rope. Close Play change. It. You know, whoa, those whoa, are whoa, tough whoa. to swallow. Ah. Ah. Well, it's easy to lose the sudden right death here. final in ah. Manitoba because it's <laughs> 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 tough competition. Convert Nick. Ah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah. Yeah. Yep. Make this shot. Par. Come on, hurry. Oh. oh. Okay. I'm telling you, that, you, you, I could not draw either one of those rocks on the telestrator as well as he, where he put them. That, that's absolutely there. perfect. Yeah. Talking about the Manitoba final this year, he had to beat Dale Duga, a former... <coughs> Manitoba champion at the qualifier in Selkirk. Carey's rock is so well positioned here. It's not only buried around the center guard, which is yeah. which mission number one, but he's put it at the top I of the button, know. not behind the button to give uh, Mark a little bit more backing. And he's choked off the scoring area a little wee bit. And uh, it, you know, Mark has no choice but to draw the Nokia. That's the only option left. That's it. Yeah, and it, it's, these, these are tough shots. You know, you, what's the path doing here? If uh, Paul Fleming moves that broom out three inches, you'll have a di little different path, a little different speed, a little bit more swing. Burtnick has covered half of the Mark. forefoot with his two stones, okay. right? So there's, Line's good. there's a half left, and the button the is line. visible. Line's good. Line's good. For Mark Dacey's final tight. shot. Hard. Hard line. Oh, they're worried about the line Hard. here, and that's that spot where they do start to go. The edge of the eight. Had right. trouble out here hard. in the early going. Hard way too hard. But here it comes. Okay. Nova that Scotia. Where'd that curl come from? Short. <laughs> and Burtnick walks away <laughs> with no a speed. couple. Well, the split okay or no? It's a bit. You guys didn't seem to think it was light. Right. Take two for the yellow. It's the same one that went back Manitoba. four last in. Steals a couple. If not, that's number four. In four. <laughs> Almost a disaster for Daisy. As official supplier to Curling's Season of Champions, True Value Hardware presents quality products for your house. True Test Paint, made by us and made to last. We own the factory. We test and retest our paint. We guarantee it every can at every store. True Value, around the corner from your house. If you can't stop here, stop here for 25% off the regular price of Midas VSD brake pads and shoes. They've got a lifetime guarantee and they're the best we've ever offered. They're quieter, they stop faster, and last longer. And if they wear out, we'll provide you with new ones at no charge for as long as you own your car. So for 25% off VSD brakes, go Midas. It's a digital as documents get. Digital copiers, network printers, color imaging. Kyo Ceramita is where documents are going. A Kyocera Document Solutions Company. Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. Discover the sights and sounds that make us Canada's seacoast in our music in the excitement of our past, in our seafaring heritage, and in young hearts. It's all in our 400-page Doers and Dreamers Guide. Get your free copy today and visit us as soon as you can. Nova Scotia, Canada's seacoast. A lot of people talk about police corruption, but no one ever sees it. They're all dirty, and I need your help to prove it. Watch your back. No 
Starts Friday, March 16th. In our feature match, Nova Scotia, Manitoba, the key shot brought to you by Husky. It comes in the fourth end, and it's Manitoba skip Kerry Burtnick. Well, he just threw this Rope. in the absolute perfect spot, but it, his first one was even better than this one. Yep. The, uh, the wide Rope. intern had been about Rope. four feet. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, Somehow whoa, whoa. managed ah, to get shot high. rock on uh, Daisy's ah. rock. Ah. Right here. Ah. Boy swept this perfect, good communication. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah. It really had to be in front of the tee line, but he managed to yeah. sneak it into sit two and uh, got the steal on the scoreboard. Ah, hurry. Steal of two for Burtnick. He also stole in the first. So Burtnick in control on Nova Scotia. Critical game, as we've told you all morning long. It's 4-2 Manitoba leading Nova Scotia. Both teams at 6-3, and three, both scrambling to be around for the playoffs. And the winner takes a giant step toward that, that here this morning. Whoa, easy. Then again, easy. there's still this easy. afternoon and evening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there really is. It's tightening up quite a bit. It's nice to see, like there were priors years ago that there was it's one or two uh, clear-cut teams or maybe three. Oh, and, I was in you know, a lot of yeah, the teams were, yeah. uh, you know, uh, one, two, three wins uh, perennially, but now it's, uh, <coughs> now it's a dogfight. It really, did, you know, to, to go seven and four, you think you could go to a bond spiel and uh, manage to go seven and four, but it's tough. It really is, and uh, anybody can jump up and bite you, and uh, you're, you're going to have one or two bad games yourself in a long week like this, and it's, uh, it's it, you, you can see the pack getting tighter and tighter and tighter every year. Several teams have taken a run at Hard. being the front runner this right. week. Madog well, gets off to a hot start, on. wins four in a row. Right Easy. Alberta, a good right start, there. ends up in first place for a couple of days, right but right now right. has fallen back <laughs> with the pack and is still in first spot, but in a three-way tie for the lead with Ontario and Quebec. So the overall lead has changed hands a couple of times. Juggled right? quite a bit. Uh, you know, Wayne looked like he was never going to lose, and he lost yeah. two in a row. And uh, Kerry had the, the the tough day on Sunday, and he bounced back with five wins, and he was certainly the hottest curler and the hottest team for that period of time, and he lost last night. So it's... Uh, Wait, good. Uh, it, it just tells you how good all the teams really are. Whoa! Uh, Got a curl. Got a move. Yep! Waiting on this Hard. one. Nova Scotia Hooray. trailing 4-2. Hard! Right yep. up! Right Come up. on, you got to hit it hard. Hard! Hard, right up. Right up. up. Come on, Mark, move it. Hard. Move it, move it. Nice shot. Okay, good. Shot, talk. May come in handy later. <laughs> Over on D, BC, Quebec. And Guy Hemmings struggling against Let's Dean Jones. Sure. In the early okay. going, this is a fifth end shot yep. for Guy. He's, in big, he's been in big trouble two or three ends here. Yep. And, uh, Dean's team's come to play this morning. And, uh, Oh, he's trying to get at least three here, I believe. Facing a houseful. And really only a chance to nudge that redstone out and uh, grab one back anyway. So Hemmings is two down, playing six. Manitoba sitting pretty here. In five. At least for the moment. Good news for uh, Manitoba, too, is there aren't any guards around. So Mark's going to have to earn this without any uh, the advantage of cover. And uh, that's always a much tougher thing to do with the good hitting teams. I'm good. Room. Back floor. Oh, it looks heavy. Looks heavy. Worried about the weight on this one. Might have thrown right it off. a little too hard now. Right that's off. not quite finishing it. either. Right off. Okay, Blake. Good. <coughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's a not quite, isn't it? That's a not quite, that's yeah. for sure. It lights better again, and uh, it gives Kerry the opportunity, because that rock's fully exposed, it gives Kerry the opportunity to run the double and uh, get out of this, uh, this situation where uh, there's two red rocks in the ring. Manitoba second, Rob Meekin. Not quite. 
he had to guard against missing it the <laughs> other way. He misses a little tight. He runs it into his own rocks and possibly leaves both red ones there. So there's nothing he wrong with hitting and rolling out there. No, the, the perfect roll carry would have liked the double. That was the thought, but opening up the front of the house is okay. Yeah, absolutely. Now, without the corner guard that we talked about Mark, in the other end, uh, Mark really has to earn this by throwing oh, yeah, tremendous oh, freezes and tap backs and setting up a little bit of a wall. Oh, yeah. But he does have that opportunity by bumping the top yellow one a little bit to the right-hand side of the sheet. It's, uh, it's, it's going to be very difficult for the Red Rock to pass right through. Right up! Come on. Whoa! Great shot. That a point? And you heard it. They're happy. Great shot. <laughs> Kerry has to think this one over. He can uh, <coughs> throw a bullet down there, hit half the red, probably remove it, but he's going to lose both of his yellows and give uh, Nova Scotia a chance to split the houses at two. So. Try to throw this one a little better. We're going to try to hit this one really thin and possibly get lucky and tick the Wait. back one on the way by. Whoa. Manitoba Whoa. third, Jeff Ryan. Whoa. This is close. Whoa. Lots on this. Ooh. Good rock. Well, moved it around, and Manitoba second yeah. shot there to the It also opens red, the red, red one up. Stone. Yeah, that's right. He, he got w uh, one of them out of there, which is fine, and he opened it up a little bit. New Brunswick leading Newfoundland 3-1 in the fifth. Newfoundland looking for a double. Last oh, shot, oh, oh, oh. fifth in. Even a little English there right by the Keith Ryan, right the there. skip. Couldn't make that happen, so <laughs> New Brunswick gets one, 4-1 there. Like those close. Even if you corner freeze this red, it's beautiful. Okay. Right there. Here's Paul Fleming in the hack for Nova Scotia. Getting there, good, Paul. These have to be so precise, these freezes. Like, Mark likes what's happening. There's some rocks behind the T-line. He doesn't care what color they are. He wants to set up a wall and force Burtnick to jam one somewhere along the line. This out turn that he's throwing has to cross the face of the uh, red rock that's at the edge of the button. Four. Otherwise, he'll set up a real uh, easy three. double for Kerry's team. Ready, curl. Whoa. Positioning Whoa. here is so crucial. These are Let the ones bend. that you'll, right you'll off. come off the ice. Right off. Off. I just Got put it a little to the right yeah. or here to the just left. There. Right off. It's, Wait it's for most it. important to line Whoa. up. That has to do <laughs> some bending here. Hard. He's going to set up a double. Hard. Right up. Will it bend enough? Right up. Never leave it. Hard, 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 hard. Third shot. That's a real nice shot there. Mission accomplished there. Kerry can definitely hit this rock this way, and hopefully, hopefully for Kerry to clear past the yellow. If not, he's going to jam both of them. And it's the only other way Kerry can possibly hit this rock is a little on the right-hand side, try to come across the top and make them out this way. Manitoba third, Jeff Ryan, second stone. Fifth in. Whoa, whoa. Looking for a big shot here. Got one and removed two Manitoba stones. And That's lost awesome. the shooter. They're not quite sharp on the doubles yet today, but uh, again, not too bad a miss. He opens the back That's rocks up, and no the, the red rock, the danger rock for uh, Manitoba can easily be removed now. He can hit this and lay two, but then there's a pocket. Yeah, there. you're right. That's good. If they get too cute, they can jam the back one, eh? A not quite shot. For yeah, Jeff Ryan. A little more weight maybe than he needed. Just hit a little bit thin, but uh, he missed it, missed it the right way. He's opened yep. it up. I and, uh, when I threw it and then halfway down, I was kind of hope. Nova Scotia still has to uh, has to earn the deuce. They still have to work at these in the right position. <coughs> it's all exactly positioning, and we're talking yeah, inches, not feet anymore. Right? And, uh, it would be so easy for this rock, for example, to slip to the top back of the eight foot and give Kerry an easy double or Despite not quite eight. bend enough and give him a see. double the other way. Mine's and, great. The sweepers just have to be so precise Whoa, in these easy. shots. Have a Mark. look. Come on, guys. Got to bite the eight foot. Come on, you got it. You got it. Hurt. Hurry. All right, guys. Got to go. Hurt. Sorry, please. OK, good sweep. Yep. Over on Sheet B, Up it's Thanksgiving there. again. Crowded house. <laughs> Alberta. I have PEI. I have no idea how PEI got one in there. I looked over a little yeah. while ago and they were in major trouble. But uh, oh, that didn't go. Just, just off. 
Well, believe it's Alberta gets one out of there. <laughs> <laughs> he hits that any thinner. They just uh, just missed it. A little thinner. He scores three, and uh, but it's still still a great shot all the same. Oh no! If I pick it out, he's probably going to hit because he's got the double in. Manitoba, well, we try. Nova Scotia, critical game. Both I'd at six and three. I'd have to go bumper weight though. That last red rock that Nova Scotia through had to be in this area here they not only didn't get it in for second shot they didn't get it in Maybe for third like, shot so that, like that gives Kerry the uh, luxury of picking that out of That's there and actually bump. sitting two and it's getting late Pop in the rock. end and uh, you know Nova Scotia gonna have to make a double to score their deuce upper weight Carry the uh, the talent of the curler that he is. He might even throw a nice light enough weight to try to sit three, but the, that he doesn't want to jam it on one of those back ones. So he has to be very careful with this over bending on him. The way to miss this one is on the high side and roll out, if anything. Paul Fleming on the left, third Briar. Skip Nova Scotia 98 and 99. Yeah. Playing third yeah. for Mark Dacey this time. Kerry Burke. Manitoba. Uh-oh, we're coming across the center line pretty early here. Chip it out. Hurry, 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 hurry. Get it out. Oof. That's what that back was on the Yellowstone as well. So. That was the worry. Mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, if that stays, Mark's got a pretty easy double to sit three with the hammer, and uh, Kerry wow. almost let one get away there. Sure, good. Cut. It just cut. Kerry was smart way? to throw the lightweight. No, he I'll tried like to, to hang around to sit yellow. three, but in reality, rolling in the highway way would have made a little more sense, and uh, <laughs> he got away with one there. That almost wow. hung around. Yeah. You got the right rocks. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, laughing there. I guess they uh, they threw the rocks out of order last time, and uh, when that happens, the skip ends up with something he's never seen before. <laughs> and the skip's not happy, right? No, and, and it, but it, but it's a great excuse if you miss. You always uh, you have that in the back of your mind at all times. Hard. 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 Nova Scotia will have the hammer here. Hooray! After right. Burton stole two in the previous Hard. end. Here's Daisy's first, just one, and a little hang around. I want to flash the camera right in my slide. Here, I don't know whether you've heard Mark. He actually said somebody uh, took a picture of him. Some was a black Someone bulb went off. Had a flash camera right in the middle of my slide on that last shot, right up in that area somewhere. Yeah, right in mid slide. Is that from the stands oh, he's talking about? Shot. Sounds like it. Yeah, normal. Yeah. Hope it wasn't Heather. <laughs> <laughs> yes, his wife Heather Smith Dacey is watching here. Well, they ask, they actually comment on almost all the games over the loudspeaker before it starts to put those things away, and that, that's really unfortunate. Yeah. Why don't we play and the Turn top off the beepers one. and the cell phones and <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. all of those. Well, get cute on this day. Get her outside wide and jam it. Ah, let's play there. I get her inside and curl and jam it. Terry's yeah, still in a tough play. situation Whoops. here. This, uh, you know, we've, the whole game, we have not played a rock out this wide, and uh, it's a little bit of a guess on the ice surface, a little bit of a guess on how much swing there is, and out, he'll just give Mark a wide open yeah. hit for two, yeah. so it's hey. imperative Whoa. that he hangs around. Yeah. Hey. Burtnick with a 4-2 lead. Hey. Final stone hey. here in five. Hey. Oh, perfect. Slides it in. Okay. The hit and a little roll. So Manitoba sitting two. Here's one of these shots that, you know, I, I, I've missed one. this shot a What's million that? times in my life because one. Mark in his head, he, he gave up a tough deuce last end. Uh, Kerry made two great shots. Mark's a little bit down about that. that you know, the, he let it get away. He, he had a shot at a double here and a flash bulb went off. So yeah. he's going to try to score two here by throwing a big weight takeout and he can easily give up a steal. The double like is like here. Uh, you know, Kerry maybe rolled a hair too far. The Good. double's here, but it's it's one of those sucker doubles. Like Mark over curls at all, and they're going to steal one on him. Like Burtnick setting him up? Well, <laughs> no, I don't <laughs> think so because he uh, he respects Mark too much. That you know, Mark can make this pretty easy. He, he throws the big weight very very well. On it all the way for Nova Scotia's oh, yeah. Mark Dacey oh. looking for a couple. Does yeah. he yeah. nudge it out? Yes, for two. Paul, Paul. Huge Paul. shot for Mark Dacey to get right back in it. The hammer goes back to Burtnick, but a nice <laughs> shot gives Nova Scotia a little confidence.
as we head to the sixth end, even at four. Keith Fenton of Manitoba. Tom Federley, Nova Scotia. Meekin, Manitoba. Blaine Eskew of Nova Scotia. There's Jeff Ryan and Paul Fleming. Gary Burtnick, Mark Dacey, faces of our game here in Ottawa this morning. Purex has gone to great lengths to give you a longer lasting bathroom tissue. Purex Double Roll. With twice as many pillowy soft sheets on every roll, it takes forever to run out. Purex Double Roll. Pillowy softness that lasts twice as long. You already know these uses for your karcher. Here's a few you might not have thought of. The hat rack. The shower. The centerpiece. The chandelier. You can always use a karcher. sore throat? Aren't you glad you have friends? Like Fisherman's Friend medicated lozenges. They even make nasal passages feel clear. So try Fisherman's Friend medicated lozenges with over 100 years of effectiveness. Quest Vitamins and Mineral Supplements. Available where quality dietary supplements are sold. Great. Mom will save me. With MSN Messenger Service and your MSN.ca homepage, you can talk online with your friends and family by text or voice, all in real time. What's flambe? It means to set on fire. How much salt? Just a pinch. Thanks, Mom. Oh, and if you really want to impress her, don't wear that flowered shirt. Wow. Mosley versus Taylor, Saturday night on TSN. Did you ever see that movie, You've Got Mail? Where this guy and girl fall in love emailing each other a bunch of times? Anyway, they finally meet face to face, and there's this big romantic kiss. You know the movie I'm talking about? Did you ever see that one? Well, this guy didn't. Ford F-Series Super Duty. Built Ford Tough. You know, it wouldn't be a briar without the Ford Hot Shots. It's a highlight of every week. First prize, look at this, the 2001 Ford Taurus SE. Value nearly $28,000. Second prize, a 52-inch RCA home theater. Third prize, a 32-inch RCA television. Who can play? Everyone can play. Six different shots, maximum of five points for each of those shots. Four players made it through to the semis, including Ontario's Graham McCarroll, Jeff Ryan from Manitoba, Peter McDonald of PEI, and Lee Jeff Lacey of New Brunswick. Jeff Lacey, in his third Briar appearance, a 26-year-old native of St. John, looking to make the double with the help of his third, Charlie Sullivan, and second, Dan Alderman, one, two, sit right there. Now it's McCarroll, the Ontario third. 
it's also his third prior. He was here in 88, 90, 81, the Canadian and World Championship. Look at this, the hit and roll. Now you've got to catch the button. You've got to catch the button for five. Come on, drag it there. Yes, he gets five points. And so the final is Lacey against McCarroll to see who wins the brand new Ford Taurus SE. We're at the fifth end break in our feature game and a chance to look over to BC and Quebec on sheet D. Guy Hemmings with the leaders at seven and two. BC out of the playoff picture, but doing well so far today, Dean Janice. Yeah, they're giving Guy all he can handle and uh, Guy threw one in. He tried to throw a perfect corner freeze and the sweepers just lost at the last second. It just fudged in a little wee bit in the slide path and gave Dean a really, really tough try for two. Just begin a little wider than the slide path and uh, where Guy was a little quicker path and he threw through. Settling for one, BC. Leading Quebec by three, six, three. The game we're watching most closely this morning is the most important one on draw 15. Nova Scotia against Manitoba, both at six and three, both battling for the playoffs. Never let a small thing stand in your way. With all your heart, you must follow. Keep your eyes on tomorrow. Follow what's deep inside you. And do what you gotta do. Faith in you. Out of all the faith in you. It's bread for European tastes, but built for North American desires. With a seductive, ergonomic design, provocative performance, responsive power, sexy, low-profile wheels, eye-popping curve view, and superb handling in tight corners, not to mention driveways, decks, and even those silly motor cars. The Karcher high-pressure washer. You really have no options. or on the road, top quality replacement parts are a must, which is why I recommend the full range of UAP Napa parts. UAP Napa, the right brand for the job. I want my hair to turn gray. I want laugh lines. I want more laugh lines. I want to be a grandmother. I want to be a great grandmother. I want to grow old. Growing old is good when you're healthy. For advice on women's health issues related to aging, talk to your health watch pharmacist. Welcome back. Other games in action this morning. Alberta and Prince Edward Island even at three as they play six. And right next door, New Brunswick leading Newfoundland four to three. And here's Guy having a little difficulty with British Columbia this morning down by three. Our feature match 
Way over here on A, Nova Scotia against Manitoba. Two teams in control of their own destiny, Russ, if you win a couple of games today. But unfortunately, one of these teams can't win a couple because we, <laughs> they're head right. to head this morning. Off, <laughs> Last time I checked, the math was going to be a winner and a loser here. It, yep. it uh, has been Hardly. a well-trail game. They both deserve to win. Mark made an unbelievable double there. That was uh, that was a very flat double. He had to throw a uh, you know up peel yeah. weight to make it, and it's, you start throwing that kind of weight, it's pretty tough to hit the broom. And uh, it'd be a nice double scored a real good deuce there. Yep. Well, we'll check out the ice again for Nokia. This particular sheet, sheet A, has uh, got a little bit of an overhang where the crowd is and the uh, the arena is uh, quite a bit, you know, three times as many people over on the one side. So consequently, on the inside side of the sheet, we're getting about four feet of pull because the air currents are bringing the, uh, the air currents actually bring the uh, frost down and the cold air down a little bit. The far side of the sheet is actually quite a bit straighter. So we'll have to keep watching that as the game goes along. By the WWW. You know, with all the practice you've had this week, you could make a pretty good weatherman, too. <laughs> <laughs> Air currents and frost and all of that sort of stuff. Fronts and low pressures. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just keeps snowing where I'm from. <laughs> Buried out there a little bit. Yeah, Moncton. yeah, we've had a ton. Mine's good. But Coffee. again, this week, while well, you've been away, good. so at least you haven't had to sweep. They escaped. <laughs> You're avoiding the sweep again, yep. Skipper. Yeah. Heart <laughs> line. Mine's good. Whoa. Mine's good. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. This is the big swing Whoa. side I just tried to mention on the Whoa. Telestrator. The uh, the intern on the, on the home inside. end coming it back to the button. It just Whoa. Whoa. busts in there. We we saw Shot Carrie Berry one here just, just where the sun doesn't shine. It really went in behind there. Whereas the outturn tracks a little bit. It's easy to oversweep. And uh, they're not dead. Yep. Blaine Iskew threw one earlier in the game that just didn't finish at all. So it's yep. not, not that there's a problem with the ice. It's just uh, swinging more Even one way than it is the other. Inches. Talked about Mark Dacey's fine double for two to get back to even after Burtnick had stolen oh, two in the more. previous end. A little heavier. So even at four after five, we're playing six here. No line. Looks heavy. This no, type of ice condition can change your strategy a little bit. You, you see right off the bat, we're going around on the swingy side. And that, that's generally the uh, turn of choice is to t play the swing and it gets a little bit more moving and it's easier to bury a rock. But they're going to have to deal with the out turn side okay. coming down here later in the end. And uh, usually it's a little easier to play the uh, the run backs with the, uh, with the straight turn. Not all that happy with that, raising that redstone in after five. Close on the scoreboard. Here's how the numbers look brought to you by True Value. Stolen points, interesting. Three, one of the first. Yeah, that's unusual, and uh, so is Mark's percentage. You know, we watched the whole game, and uh, you know, 57 percent is uh, hard to believe he's that low. And uh, but it, you know, it's the old story with the percentages; they, they don't really take into account how difficult the shots are. And, uh, Mark's had a couple tough draws that uh, Kerry set him up in the third end, and uh, but he, he he bounced back with a beautiful double there. Shot late. Shot. <coughs> Nova Scotia throwing red. Get to the inside. Yeah. Kind of here. Bump it on the inside, maybe. Okay. Okay. Well, if Kerry can bad. slide it by the, the guard, inside. they're talking about it right now. Oh. I'm not sure they can do it, but if they can paper past the guard, oh. get to the inside oh, of this yeah. red uh, Nova Easily. Scotia rock, it should be able to clear off both the yellows and over the top of the face of those and actually roll inside. Got to be really tight to the surface of that guard, though. Whoa! 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 Rob making shot. Come on, baby. A difficult one. Tag it, Rock. The okay. angles are really good. He didn't have to get quite as tight as I thought he did, but uh, you know, that did the job. He couldn't do much Whoa. better. He would have liked Whoa. to roll the yellow in behind cover a little Whoa. bit, but the either way, he managed to get rid of the Good problem, Rock. Alberta at 7 and 2, hoping to qualify or lock up a place in the playoffs with that record as it stands right now against PEI. And Peter McDonald looking to draw for a couple here against Whoa. Randy Furby's Alberta Whoa. team. Even bump it a couple inches. Nice weight. Whoa. Just freeze. Whoa. Whoa, Peter does miss too many of these. Nice. Uh, they played a really Whoa. well. Whoa. Well played in. Whoa. There's the two for PEI and a 5 3 lead. So it's not easy for any of the front runners here on ice this morning 
E. Hemmings is behind, and he's up there with a seven and two record. Yeah, a couple of the favorites. Uh, you know, if you were picking Quebec over BC, you'd, you'd have to give uh, Guy the nod, and he's uh, he's in big trouble over here. And uh, Alberta's two down to PI. Still time yeah. for comebacks, though, in the morning drought. Uh, <coughs> uh, nose is good. Bernick of Manitoba will have the hammer here after giving up two to Nova Scotia. Last in. Mark's uh, front end's played a lot of nice soft uh, tap backs and uh, they've made a lot of beautiful little rolls yeah. that have really put pressure Whoa! on Bernick's front end. Yeah! Oh! You jammed on the yellow at the back, so that leaves Nova Scotia okay. with two. So Meekin not happy with that effort. And the worst part about it is jam's bad enough, but he yeah, also double. left the shot rock pretty well buried. And the, the only way they can get at the shot rocks on the straight side. They get a double? Just over curled a little no, wee bit. These are tough shots. High. Like the angle has to be Can absolutely I just throw perfect. A high one? And, uh, Kerry got robbed a little bit on the uh, on the bounce off the yellow. Pretty good. I was thinking. Uh, and then the finish the on back? the other redstone, as you say, behind the yellow guard. Yeah, and, uh, and it's uh, it's slightly exposed on the straight turn, which is even harder for Kerry to get at. It was slightly well, yeah, open on the, uh, right on the swinging freeze, side. You'd have a much better opportunity okay. to remove it, yep. but uh, they're going to yep. have to work to get at that one. <coughs> There's no double opportunity either. The second <coughs> stone on the edge of the, the eight foot there is uh, too far back to uh, bounce across and make the double. We'll sweep it for top eight. Nova Scotia, Manitoba. Yep, One game to go after this for both teams. Manitoba has Alberta on the final draw tonight. Nova Scotia against PEI this evening. So the object for both teams today is win two. <laughs> Starting off with this critical match against each other this morning. going hard. All the way hard. Never leave it. We're into the big swing here. This rock, the broom was out of virtually edge of the 12 foot, almost off the sheet. Here, here and, uh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Right. Falls a little bit light, but it'll really break in here at the end. Manitoba miss sets up an opportunity for Nova Scotia to build a little protection in front of the counting stone. Alberta, Ontario, Quebec, all at seven and two. And here's who remains for the front runners today: Alberta against Manitoba, Ontario against the territories after this draw. Quebec against New Brunswick tonight. As mentioned, Manitoba Red. against Alberta Red. in the next drop, and it'll be Nova Red. Scotia against PEI. Red. Here's the Manitoba Stone Red. going after this. And back on the red counting stone and a little roll that goes too far for Burtnick's liking. That was nearly perfect. You know, the raise back is a wonderful shot in itself to sit and stay, but darn near made the double and rolled it in for shot rock under cover, and uh, that would have been a real turning point in this end. Mark's still pretty safe. He's got the luxury of being shot rock now, so he can play an aggressive shot as opposed to trying to get the yeah, we're out of there. one, but this is no good because then he can just hit the outside of that. If you go here, he's going to hit that onto that right onto your shooter. Tap that, roll the card. Oh. I think we got to give him that shot, can we? Yeah, I agree with Tom. Uh, Mark's a little bit worried about uh, if, he, if he draws a rock in uh, top, like the top of the forefoot, uh, he's worried about the double, but uh, that'd be a tough shot. If you put it right here, it's terrible. <laughs> Just going to hit it right onto it. <laughs> Mark's worried about this situation where, you know, if Kerry comes down with a heavyweight takeout and, and whoop, going the wrong way here. Kerry comes down with a heavyweight takeout, he can actually move the yellow over into this area and hit that other red rock. Now, before you send emails to Russ well, Howard here at tsn.ca slash curling. That was my only bad arrow. Of the no, morning. no, it wasn't that. It wasn't the arrow. <laughs> I just want to mention that New Brunswick and Saskatchewan still have an outside chance oh, to ice. make it. I mean, they're both at five and four. New Brunswick on the ice this morning. Saskatchewan with, with games against the territories in northern Ontario later today. Exactly. And, uh, you know, New Brunswick, Jimmy Sullivan's one up with the hammer here against the Newfoundland. Yep. So he's looking pretty safe. And uh, he'll have a huge game with Quebec uh, later on, which uh, could be for a playoff spot. But the story there is outside chance of five and four. They need help. Yeah, exactly. Nova Scotia, Manitoba in control of their own destinies here. Nice little shots there. Do they take it? Yeah, not bad. 
Scott. There you go. We've seen all the shots here this morning. Everything is on the line. Next edition of Sports Desk, 6.30 Eastern tonight. So join us for that. We'll have all the stories of all the rumors and everything that's happening down in La Quinta, California, and also spring training in Florida. The key will be Briar highlights, obviously, right? <laughs> Good line. Yeah. Line. Line. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Line. Hard. Easy. Whoa. Bye. Bye. Whoa. Whoa. Bye. Now, will they get the late whoa. finish? This is where it's been a wee bit straighter. Right off. Right off. Great well. shot. Good. There you go. Oh, that that is so much tougher than it looks. And you know, we talked about it in the ice reading in the fifth end break. That just doesn't move in there as much as the intern does. In the, Ooh. But that had to be really well thrown. Shot. Happy with that for obvious reasons. That's not well, bad. you see now Jeff is overlooking oh, that's it. Good. Yeah, that's a great shot. Taking another peek at it. Saying, well, yeah, but we could have been. Yeah, you're never happy. Just a little just, bit better, yeah, yeah. you know, but it's. <laughs> they can't all be perfect, as you found out, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, that was a well thrown no. stone. I guess ideally another inch buried oh, a couple and inches higher and it would be a much easier jam. Gonna, we're but, gonna uh, hit a lot this, of this is a tough shot to for Mark and I, I played against Mark quite a bit and his, his out turn hangs for a little while so this is not an easy spot for Mark to uh, manage to make a curl here. Al Hackner is back at the oh, briar for the first more. time in a lot of years and you know to get here and win a couple like Hackner has uh, but he's been here nine times and, and, and so unfortunately you win a lot of games when you win Briars, but when you've been here a lot, you lose a lot of games. So he's uh, he's now Tight. holding Tight. the Briar record Tight. for the most losses Is that in right? history. But Tight. I mean, Tight. in well, fairness, he's been around Tight. for a long time, Real right? Hard. And I think, and, and, and you've got those wins too. Real hard, oh, exactly. Real hard. Come on, you got her. Hard. Well, uh, roll it over. Roll over, Lane. Way over. No. Can the result be Sorry, positive guys, at all? No. Over curled and out turn again. Well, it's not too bad. You heard Mark oh, say yeah, over. Was just killing me. Over curled and out turn. He's not happy with the way he's releasing I the out turn. I was going to try to stop you. And get and, you uh, yeah. A couple years ago, Mark's out turn would, uh, would would hang, like I said earlier, and maybe he's made a little adjustment during the year, and uh, now it's fooling him. It's starting to bend a little more. And it's, it's identical to golf again, John. You, 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 hmm. you hit draws all day at the practice tee and you walk up in the first hole and you hit a fade no. and you don't know why and you, you have to kind of go with what you've got and it's it's difficult if you're struggling with one turn or the other but uh, right there that just uh, just curled a little sooner and we, i thought it would be really straight there, so whether uh, yeah. mark rolled it in or just uh, it's just uh, not quite enough ice yeah well it's the same thing i mean i think the yeah opposite. bump it you gotta bump it a bit yep manitoba has the hammer here two stones just to come for kerry burtnick there's what he's looking at and the one red stone in the 12 foot. I don't know that I can be of any use to Daisy here. I suppose it's promotable. Yeah, yeah exactly. When they're, they're they're always good if your rocks are up front. You can do something with them. But I don't, I don't think he's going to be able to play that shot. Kerry's going to have to draw a second one in there. And um, Kerry has to be a little careful. He's got one virtually buried. He can guard it. But if uh, Mark ever makes a shot in there, he can sit two or three and carry. He's Kerry's got to be careful. It's too late in the game to give up two or three. Like Just one shot to come that. for Mark Dacey of Nova Scotia. Yeah, I, know. I think called over over curl tap. Oh. This would then be very good. <laughs> great opportunity for Kerry, but these are the ones that have to be absolutely perfect because short's a great miss. Heavy is not clean. Yeah. acceptable Wait at all, but Kerry's going to try to hide whoa. a bit of it whoa, whoa, so that he doesn't get Mark the straight back whoa. double opportunity. Back back uh oh. Whoa. Maybe right back off. eight. Uh oh. Back eight. They don't right want to hear back eight. Oh, no. Tons of weight. Too much. <laughs> Still second shot, though, I do believe, that Yellowstone. Sorry, right, guys. Uh, Sorry about that. They would have liked that yellow one in the perfect world in a little bit tighter there and uh, stopped Mark's chance of hitting the rock. This, right now, yeah. the rock's I absolutely fully exposed, so Mark can throw any type of weight he wants and try to run the double. But don't worry about it. Okay. Just a shade heavy and carry shot there. I think the line would have been fine if you just thrown it a couple feet lighter, but we're talking, you know, he had to throw it 136 feet. He threw it 138. Yeah, exactly, yeah. It wasn't that bad a shot, but it, you know, it's it's all a game of inches, and he just he's not going to be happy with those angles that he set up for Mark. Okay, Mark. So it opens yep. the door for Mark Dacey here with his final stone. 
BC Quebec. Guy Hemmings trailing by three. And look what he's facing here in the seventh. He's made some great shots, Guy Hemmings, this week, including one incredible one last night that we saw. Did he ever? And uh, this this is another tough shot. Uh, BC has one dead buried, and there was no other avenue here than to play the double takeout. Just hooks enough at the very end. And double for two. Double for Guy. They love the guy here at 6-5 as he narrows the gap a little bit. And Daisy's final stone here. Sorry. Didn't have very good slide. I couldn't see where the line was. An opportunity for Burtnick. Uh, Mark's Sorry, not happy Paul. there. He his first one rolled yeah. over a little bit, and he probably tried to protect the wrong way in that one. And was just uh, the, all the doubles are tough. We've seen a few of them miss, but uh, that just didn't curl quite as much as Mark wanted it to. Best slide, that's for sure. Gee, so wide. Mark was saying he didn't slide very well, and he probably just a little bit of tight had to throw it back to the broom. And when you do that, the rock's going to track down the ice and not going to have any late movement, especially with that type of speed. And Perry's uh, going to have a shot to get his deuce here. Made contact, but set it up for two. For Manitoba's Kerry Burtnick, who doesn't miss this shot. Well, he was uh, just a foot or two heavy on the first one, so I'll, uh, I'll bet a small amount of money that this is uh, right where he wants it. Nova Scotia with two and five. Last rock for Burtnick here in six. Easy, easy, easy. Good line. Easy. Whoa. Kerry still Clean. thinks it's a hair heavy. You can hear his re Good response line. out of his hand. But the, the sweepers yeah. aren't too worried yeah. about it. Good line. This particular easy. spot can whoa, whoa, slow whoa, whoa, down whoa. later Good in the game line. a little wow. wee bit. So they're going to have to be careful coming Clean into it. the top of the rings. Clean it. Clean it all the way. How much Anywhere. did we bet? Well, I, I thought it was a couple of grand. <laughs> <laughs> I told you he'd make it. <laughs> Two for Manitoba. Burtnick back on top. 6-4 Manitoba leading Nova Scotia as we head to seven. There's your leader. Seems like only yesterday Elaine and I started out. The town grew we right alongside. Now the kids are helping out. You don't stay in business this long without knowing a thing or two. True value. Help is just around the corner. If you can't stop here, stop here for 25% off the regular price of Midas BSD brake pads and shoes. They've got a lifetime guarantee and they're the best we've ever offered. They're quieter, they stop faster, and last longer. And if they wear out, we'll provide you with new ones at no charge for as long as you own your car. So for 25% off BSD brakes, go Midas. It's a 30-minute wait. You want to go and come back? My place? Yeah. This is a nice place. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I'm really hungry. Uh, uh, well, then start cooking. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want me to cook your dinner. <laughs> Maybe they deliver. I think. Okay. McCain Rising Crest Pizza. Hey, you smell that? Smell what? I don't know, the delivery guy here? New cheeses, new toppings, more sauce. No need to go back to the restaurant. McCain Rising Crest Pizza in a new see-through package. No need to go anywhere, is there? <laughs> Mrs. Lang? Uh, we've got 10 million reasons to cue the band. Where is that? Hey, hey, buddy! Not my job to make the phone call. Introducing Advil Liquid Gel, the only liquid gel that gives you effective migraine relief that's fast. The Nokia Briar on TSN, presented by Sheraton Hotels and Resorts, 
is brought to you by Karcher Quality Cleaning Equipment. Ford, supporting the drive to achieve. And Nokia, proud sponsor of the Nokia Briar. We're on drive 15 here this morning. Here's what's ahead at 1.30 this afternoon. Newfoundland versus BC. Quebec against New Brunswick. Could be a big game. Saskatchewan against the Territories. That too. Ontario against Northern Ontario. Our problem is we can't decide which game is most important, so we don't know which one we'll cover at 1.30 this afternoon. It'll depend on the outcome here this morning. Certainly will. You know, the, the Quebec-New Brunswick game, if, if Quebec continues to stay down in this game against BC, the Quebec-New Brunswick game's huge. Yes, and, uh, the Ontario game, Wayne Madaw, you know, he'll be trying for first place with it. You know, he's got two important games, too. So. And Saskatchewan still battling for a playoff spot. Long shots at 5-4, and four, but, you know, there's still hope, depending on what happens as we look at the four sheets we're watching here this morning. A lot can shuffle in one draw off there, on right. day six. Get off there. Well, a miss by Mark Dacey. That's curling. He made the unbelievably tough double the end before and missed a, a little bit easier one uh, coming home in the uh, sixth end. And that allowed Burtnick a couple for the lead right now. So Manitoba feeling fairly confident. Nova Scotia a little wobbly right now. Yeah, and Keith and uh, Tommy Federley slipping into the rings isn't going to help either because now uh, Kerry can just blast away for the entire end Whoa, and, uh, and uh, stop Whoa. Mark Casey from possibly building an Whoa. opportunity to score his deuce. That corner guard, that's the, it, it's so overlooked. Once it's in the rings, it's very difficult to score two points in the, at this caliber. Tapping that up. Fifth Briar for Tom Federley. Played for the skip. Paul Fleming in 99. As well as 98. Let it curl, Blade. Right off. Clean. Right off. Let it curl. How heavy? Girl. Yep. 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 Whoa. Whoa. Might be right about back 12. Well, there's back 12 would have been better. <laughs> Yeah, real miscommunication yeah. there. They swept it a wee bit thinking they were going to get the tick, but uh, Mark uh, Mark's information from the front end was it wasn't going through the ring, so he gambled yeah. to get it by the guard, and uh, that hurts big time because, uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Front runners struggling a little bit here today. Alberta is one of those teams, and PEI not going away quietly. Alberta facing four here. As Dave Nettowin. Looks to cut out that deficit. There you go. Hit for one. He had to roll that one or two inches. It wasn't a simple nose hit. He had to actually roll. Or uh, P.I. played a wonderful end there and put a lot of pressure on the uh, Alberta team. Nice rock. Manitoba adding pressure to Nova Scotia here with this. <clears throat> Manitoba with three in the house. Yeah, I'm right on it. Kerry's yep. starting to get a little more comfortable Back with this situation. He, you know, it looks like he can... <clears throat> He can stop uh, the deuce here, force, uh, and more importantly, force uh, Nova Scotia is the, is the plan now. Force him to one. Right. He'll be one up with the hammer playing the Mine's even end, good. eighth end, and uh, you know try Whoa. to score the two to get the, the big three-point lead. Well, right off, close. Mark's going to have to bounce wow. these around a little bit and try close. to create a bit of a pocket. You, you can use the, uh, the opponent's oh, rocks wow. to your advantage at this point in wow. time. Just, just a little a tick, roll. roll behind the corner guard, and more importantly, set those two Got yellow ones together so you can freeze to them later. That's a wonderful shot. Okay, peel it out. And at a glance, it might not look like a one. Right, shot absolutely. Right? That's I mean, but he's yep. he's trying to build something it. here, and uh, exactly. Yeah. came up a bit. Yellow rocks in play aren't necessarily a disadvantage to the red team. Bad. Right That's now. not bad. Terry might have been wise not to put the third rock in there. He might have been able to better to peel one of his off and uh, and actually keep it a little bit cleaner, but. Uh, Kerry, you know, only two points up with such yeah. swingy ice. He knows he might have to score a few more Great. points yet, so he's going to keep going after him. This Great. is the straight spot uh, down this intern side, and they, uh, you saw Kerry's ice uh, there. He just about had the rock, uh, or the ice right where he wanted the rock to be. There's virtually no curl there at all on that particular spot. New Brunswick with the lead on Newfoundland, not unexpected. 5-3, Newfoundland with the hammer. 
And uh, there's the surprise game. Well, we've seen a couple of surprise yeah. games here this morning, but BC leading Quebec only by a point, though. Wow. Wow. No. For a little heavy here again, maybe. No? Yep, give her go. Touch them all. <laughs> that may work out. I, I'm not sure why uh, Mark went after that corner yellow one. He could draw around it later, and uh, there's so much movement, and especially on the outturn turn. And uh, to freeze to one of these yellows in the forefoot might have made a little more sense. Now, Kerry can clear it through there, no problem at all. No problem at all. Well, they're cheering Guy over here on sheet D. The noise in the background is for Guy Hemmings in Quebec. It's really great that they're sitting four, but Kerry's not happy. If uh, Mark can tap this back a little bit on the angle, bump it back about a foot behind the uh, button, uh, there's virtually no way of uh, removing the red stone. Mine's good, just T line. Just a slight bump here. This, you know, the weight has to be perfect, but just one or two feet of bump on the inside half of that rock, and. Uh, Kerry's going to have a tough one. Nova Scotia third. Paul Fleming. Whoop. That wasn't the rock he was shooting for. No, was way, it? way heavy. No. No. Well, he just uh, fell asleep on that one a little bit. He just overthrew it. It's tough. You don't want to be light. You don't want to throw it light and put it, you know, a foot short of the rings and guard all the opponent's rocks. But, Double uh, them. That was a little too heavy. Advantage Burtnick again. Oh. Jeff Ryan oh, shot. Oh, oh. Off. 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 Fighter. Roll to the outside. Will it hang? Yeah, it'll stick around. That's smart to roll away. And anyways, we just we you know uh, it left Nova Scotia an opportunity for a big pocket of a little bit of a wall by rolling away. There now there's only two rocks uh, for Mark to work with. a little more lively Hard. here on Thursday <laughs> oh. Oh. at the Briar right morning right draw on. filling in nicely now with the games right increasingly more important a little bit heavy again John I, I uh, I'm a little surprised at the weight uh, could have just frozen that in there and made it a little bit tougher for Kerry and now well. Kerry's got a great opportunity just to roll about a foot this kind of weight motion with his broom there and, uh, and now there's no angles there's no lineups at all for Mark it's gonna be hard to hide one in there and put a little pressure on Kerry's next shot Burtnick getting ready for his first after picking up two and six This is spot carried a double uh, in the third that over bent on him. Jeff threw one a little bit tight and uh, Kerry followed it up and didn't quite take enough ice and missed a fairly routine double for Kerry, a guy of his standards. And uh, he now knows he's got a little bit more ice here and he'll throw a little more weight and make sure he clears by that yellow one. First for Kerry Burtnick of Manitoba. Yep. Hard. Hard. Here in seven. Hard. everything at it yikes and jammed on his own stone and lost the shooter as well that is the spot he missed it before that's what I just said I just assumed he uh, he had enough ice there but uh, that spot must be going it's fooling everybody uh, Mark oh, wrecked there uh, Jeff, Jeff was tight us. and, uh, yeah. and well, Kerry's missed two there the way, if anything. you heard the cheer for Guy moments ago now a cheer for he British Columbia perhaps a little bit there and I made the double the next shot BC leading 6-5 Dean Jonis final shot here in eight he made a pistol to put it where he did, and yeah. Dean just picked it clean. There you go. <laughs> Two for BC. The big shot's coming a little bit too late for Dean Jonis. And 
Hemmings is down by three. BC with an 8-5 lead there. Uh, Guy threw it as good as he possibly could, and Dean just, just picked it clean like there was no no problem at all. And, uh, you know, it always happens to every briar, the team that, the team that you, you know, on the scoreboard and it isn't doing that well is the one that jumps up and grabs you. It's been a struggle for Daisy down to 54%. Takes two Manitoba stones there. Rolls across to the other side. All of a sudden, the four yellows are gone. It, uh, it would have been nice for Kerry to hang around there because that would have forced uh, a possible uh, <coughs> a force to one to Nova Scotia and get the hammer back. But uh, Mark now has the opportunity to great double to get the blank and uh, get back even. If you're not going to score more than one, you have to blank it. And, uh, Mark, uh, that was a big double. So Burtnick will try it. Force Nova Scotia to take one, but uh, empty house like that blank is, is pretty well set up, bro. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not automatic. We see a lot of people hit them dead on, and you certainly don't want to miss it wide, but, uh, you know, Mark's uh, close the up weight so well that uh, he'll, he'll, he'll probably roll out. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Kerry has to hang around first, too. You know, rock at the back of the yeah, 12. You don't hard. have much room for error. Oh, he's fine. He's fine. Shot. Little roll will change the path for Daisy. That's important too, John. That, that's a very good point. Like you just saw the exact rock come down with one of the best throws in the world, so you've got an awfully good read. And it's yeah. for Kerry to roll it into a little bit different position can make a big, big difference. And we're almost into that spot that uh, Manitoba's had trouble with with the with the big swing. And if it if it is a little bit swingier, Mark doesn't pick up on that. He'll nose this thing. Nova Scotia's Mark Dacey in a battle with Manitoba. Yep. Playoff spot really right, hanging in the balance for the team Whoa. that wins this one this morning and has a chance to make it two in a row today. Hit and a roll out. So Dacey blanks the end. And they'll fire back the other way. It's Burtnick hanging out of the two-point lead. Dacey needs a couple of big shots to get back into this one. will shine in Brandon, Manitoba. Now this is your time to rise above the rest. Order by phone or shine online. See you next year in Brandon. Hey, Canada, are you ready to rock? Let's go rock, rock in Calgary. Ticket packages are rocking and ready right now by phone or email. The Nokia Brown's making history. Are you ready? The, the best role for a woman is, is to serve a man. Satisfy your man's needs. Politicians are just a bunch of liars. You know, I'm getting a little tired of all this politically correctness stuff. I think in a lot of these sexual harassment cases, the women were asking for it. What's more important, trees or jobs? One vote will never change anything. If, you know, if I wanted to watch child pornography, I should be allowed to do that, right? For people who are demanding. Extremely. Schick Extreme 3. Triple blade performance. Pivoting head. Perfect grip. And best of all, after a whole bunch of great shaves, you just toss it and serve up a new one, which is rather convenient. Extremely. Schick Extreme 3. Schick. Shave something. <laughs> In racing or on the road, top quality replacement parts are a must, which is why I recommend the full range of UAP Napa parts. UAP Napa, the right brand for the job.
Day six at the Briar in Ottawa. The Rideau Canal is still open for skating. Manitoba leads Nova Scotia 6-4 in our key game on sheet A today. You know, with a pebble on the Rideau, it's 7.8 <laughs> kilometers from downtown Ottawa out there. Make a couple of long shots out there. If you had good sweepers, how far <laughs> could you throw it? I know I'd run out of voice in the first couple of ends. That's for <laughs> Well, it looks you, nice out there, though. The, yeah. You know, the sunny days and the skating, it's uh, pretty inviting. Well, if you shot back towards Ottawa, you could put it right in the house. <laughs> in Parliament Hill. <laughs> yeah. Manitoba, nope. Nova Scotia. Critical game. Both teams at six and three. We mentioned that a lot this morning, but it bears repeating. Hey, that. Yep. Yeah, a little bit. Easy Either now. of these teams yeah, wins yeah. twice today, and yeah. only one can. Pretty good shot to make the playoff. Yeah, they're safe for sure, and they're probably uh, they escape a tiebreaker too. And, uh, but uh, you know, Kerry uh, Kerry needs this uh, this bit, this win right here because uh, you know Alberta has played well all week, and uh, that would be a really tough game. Close at the very front end as we look at the comparisons brought to you by Ford. Advantage to Keith Fenton. Hard. Okay, that's good. Sure. <clears throat> well, the perfect opening again. It's it's virtually the same when one team's uh, got a bit of a lead. You always try to get it to the top of the forefoot, hey, which uh, Keith threw in there perfect. Mark countered with the perfect corner guard. It's the exact right spot. Nice and long the way I like to see them. Here's what's on the line today with Alberta, Ontario, Quebec, yeah. all leading at seven and two. But Alberta and Quebec struggling yeah, this morning in their games on this ice. Hard, Manitoba, hard, Nova Scotia, hard, six and three. Hard. New Brunswick, Saskatchewan, still with an outside shot if everything falls into place Easy. for them. Right there. Easy. Whoa, 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 yep, right whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, hard, hard. Yep. Go. Come on, more. Right up, right up, right up, right up. Right. Carries right. decide to bring that one in. Some teams won't with the two-point lead. They'll actually guard the uh, top of the button and. Uh, of course, Mark to throw a run back, but uh, he wants. It's getting so late in the game. He doesn't want to leave guards up front that Mark can use later. So uh, he'll sit too and take his chances. Tom Federley. Good way. Nova Scotia Line lead. Heavy. Yep. Lines tight. Hard. The front ends are getting so much better at this shot, Whoa. John. They, Little heavy, baby. They, you know, the, again, they're they right docking off. it through was the old style, and now uh, they're right just going to throw soft right weight, and that ready? guarantees right two red rocks in the playing surface oh. that Mark can use later. Never. He can't afford to roll out here. So nice soft weight, bump it behind no, no, the no, T-line. He can use shot. it later. Good shot. That a boy. Feel good. Boy, to get a lot Alberta, of Prince Edward Island on sheet B. PEI with the lead. And another opportunity for one here for Eight. Peter McDonald. Hard guy. Hard. Okay. That's good. McDonald, a hot start. It's been a tough finish this week, but he can <clears throat> make life miserable for the Albertans with a win here. Edwin made morning. a great shot to set up this force, but uh, Peter responded with a beautiful draw. Good. One more for the Islanders, 6-4. Is it low, Tom? Let her die. Just let her die. Will it finish? It's good. No, no, no. It's good. It's too fast. He wants to keep it up there pretty high so he has room to get around it. That's very important. <coughs> Stop late. Blaine Iskew at 86. Rob Meekin. At 70, which is a little deceiving there, isn't it? Big difference in the hits for both players. Yeah. We got one guy at 100, and uh, Robbie struggled a little bit today at 61. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Burtnick will erase that. Shot. Yeah. Whatever. Kerry's not going to take any chances here. They, uh, it would have been tempting to hit the rock that's already in the paint because that's in the scoring area and that can go on the scoreboard. But uh, the corner guard uh, later in the end would would have been the problem rock. And he's forced Mark to finally play in the rings. And what you really try to do is get the opposition to play in the rings as early as nice possible line, and then you create a double situation nice to get out of the uh, 
the Rip. chance of Nova Scotia scoring Rip. two here. So Carey's got to go the way he wants to. Not heavy. Rim. Last rock belongs Back to the Nova Scotians. Hard. Hard. Daisy Wait. Blank, the Hard. last end. Yep. Hard. Hard. Right up. Right up. Good. Good. Sorry, boy. Good job. Stay with it. Still a good shot. Mission accomplished for Manitoba. What they're trying to do is force Kerry to stay in the rings. And what I think he's going to try to do here is simply peel the top on, which is the the proper thing to do, and maybe manage to uh, make the double here. And uh, by having no guards out in front, Mark is at Kerry's disposal here. Really, he can he can end the end right here. One and just missed and jammed on the other Manitoba stone at the back. So. Disappointing for Jeff Ryan. They can't buy a double today. They, they've set the ends up well. They've played well. Carey's made everything, but they just can't buy a double. And uh, not that they're not that they're automatic, Kay. John, but the, no. that was a no, great good. opportunity to uh, stop the two-ender from happening here. Paul Fleming, five hits, 85%. He's on 82 for the day. And Jeff Ryan Manitoba, a little upset with his last shot. Now at 79. I mean, not upset, but I mean, there was the opportunity yeah. for the yeah, double, so and it didn't Whoa. quite happen. Whoa. You don't get too many opportunities when you don't have the hammer. Like, uh, you know, now Mark's going to sit two, and hammer. Manitoba's three tries to make a double. Well, they've given them the opportunity again here with, with those yeah, rocks set up like that. Gonna give it a shot. He's actually gonna try the double again. It's a thin double, and the problem with this double here is that if he if he doesn't make it, he's probably gonna roll out, John, and that'll allow Nova Scotia to split the house, and there will not be a double. No chance on that one. And that's what I was talking about. It's great that Kerry called that. He knew right out of Jeff's hands that he wasn't gonna make the double. Wanted to keep that Yellowstone in play. Exactly. Then, right? You sweep that all the way down. You roll out, miss the double. Kerry, um, Nova Scotia is gonna split the house, and then the the deuce is on, and you're not gonna. You're not going to have a chance yeah, at a double to get out of the end. So you're basically just really calling it. off the double halfway down when right. you know you've right. you missed the shot. Yeah. Yeah. And that's so yeah. tempting to keep sweeping, roll. hoping it'll stay out oh, there and make the one. double. But Kerry reads the ice so well, he knew immediately out of Jeff's hand that the, the double wasn't there. And he went to the audible and, uh, and managed to Eli. save the Yellowstone. Now, Red, uh, red sitting one, Mark can still draw for two, but his scoring area is closed in a little wee bit. The, he now can't score in the 12-foot uh, area. He has to make his deuce in the 8-foot area. And the, the closer those two red rocks become, the easier it is for Manitoba to double them off. Gotta go. Can't hurt it. Can't hurt it. Gotta go. Needs a little extra sweep on this one. I got it. I got it. And they tuck it in behind just a little bit. Well, well more it. importantly, stop the double there. Stop just it. about yeah. equidistant, which is fantastic. And Bring it back to almost <laughs> even. <laughs> exactly. We're almost ready for a new season. Well, a little time away, but spring training is underway. One o'clock today, on Saturday, I should say. Jays and the Red Sox. Pat Tabler joining Dan Schulman for a new season of Blue Jay baseball on TSN. Nice if we get a little roll. Yeah. Yeah, Kerry'd like to roll this over. We just heard him say that. He'd like to roll it to the center line. There is no double, but by rolling them closer together, it forces Mark to roll it back, or he's going to give Kerry a double with his final shot. So it does, by rolling it into the center, it does put a little bit of pressure on Mark's uh, first Hard. stone. Right. Hard. Right up. Right up. Bert McStone. As you say, the scoring area gradually getting a little closer and uh, the shooting percentage is uh, not even close in this one this yeah morning. that's really been the difference uh, Mark's uh, struggled a little okay. bit a couple of turn hits it got away from him and, he, and a couple of in fairness a couple of draws that he missed were really tough ones uh, Kerry made two unbelievable draws and stole two and that's been the difference in the game but uh, it wasn't necessarily Mark's misses it was Kerry's great shots to set it up well it's up to you um, I don't know I think you got a pretty good situation just a little yeah. flop it's gonna be pretty even isn't it well, yeah, a little. No, if it's if it's a tiny flop, they're not very even. But if it's a, if it's a flop to here, they're fine. Yeah. If it's just a flop to here, it's still pretty high. What would Mark's you rather do? Mark's actually talked about throwing a freeze in here, which I I don't like that idea at all, Johnny. Uh, 
if he doesn't put it in the right spot, uh, Kerry can peel it out of there and no, possibly sit too. So well, I think it makes a lot more sense to Thank actually you. come down and just, like just tap it out of there and maybe roll over a little wee bit. Doesn't have to throw a lot of weight. Stay he just has to, line just side, just no has to move it out of the eight foot. You want to widen out that scoring area. Is that what you're telling yeah, me? Yeah, exactly. Right. A little bit of a roll be towards the yellow one would eliminate a double possibility. But uh, I play a hack weight shot and knows that he's got a pretty good double there. So I'll just try to freeze high side, even if a little tap on the center line side is good. So Mark doesn't agree with my strategy. He's going freeze. <laughs> well, you <laughs> are a two-time world much. champion. Fast four weight, <laughs> and I'm side. watching it. He's playing. <laughs> <laughs> the freeze is fine and, and you know you, you puts it in shot rock that's great but uh, you have to make it you have to make it perfect Room. James Paul so we've got to get going oh, this is good board. No, hard line yep hard line yep hard line hard yes. line yes right up hard hard guys never oh. leave it hurry that's the danger hey. with the freeze. It's uh, just hey. over curled a Never little wee bit on him. Come on. Whoa. Missed opportunity. Whoa. 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 Manitoba, no, Yellowstone, Never. fighting the four Never. shot rock. Kerry's no. actually got two opportunities because of this. He's got the obvious yeah, hit and stay uh, in that area there, but that might set up a double. Down. He can actually roll it even farther across to make Turn the double, right. or he can simply try high. it again with the other one and. and do Although something that like that and try to sit two. This shot, I mean, unless I nose it perfectly, I'm going to leave him a double. Right. Ah, yep. oh, but no, I may as well play that then if I'm going to do that. Okay. I like the out. call. Just roll in about well, six you got inches. Out turn. Three. This is also a tough shot. He has to roll about a foot. He can't roll three feet. He can't roll six inches. It has to be somewhere in between, which is a very precise shot. This is the shot to watch. It's a very straight spot in the ice because of the uh, air currents. And this one could drift back and hit it dead on for Gary. This is probably the only sheet that has a straight spot in the whole building. And uh, you know, Kerry, I'm sure Kerry's figured it out. But uh, if he misses it, he'll probably miss it wide. It's very straight here. Whoa. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Burtnick's Whoa. final stone. Whoa. Right off! Here in eight. Whoa! Yeah. Roll it! Roll it! Off it all the way. They'll look to roll Good it. But there wasn't much movement after the hit. <laughs> That's it. Nice that shot. was a wonderful shot Had by Kerry, but he, way, he does possibly give uh, the only way we couldn't Nova Scotia the shot at the deuce, no the same type of double that Mark actually executed two perfectly two down two 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 ends ago. One I hit. Tough yeah. shot. He has to throw it. Yeah. It's what we call a flat double. He has to hit almost two-thirds of the top yellow one, which mm. takes all the speed away from uh, from his shooter. And, and uh, to jump across four feet and move that yellow one another two feet, this has to be flying. Just the angle on this is, yeah, uh, is, so is much. forcing you yeah. because it's flat. Because By hitting it thinner, you would you wouldn't lose as much uh, speed. But he has to hit it really thick, almost I would say about two thirds to three quarters. Tough shot. Oh, Daisy's yep. last rock eight. Then oh. facing a yes. couple of Manitoba Arr! stones. Arr! Arr! Critical Arr! shot here for Nova Scotia's hopes. One and missed the double. So Manitoba walks away with a point there. Steal of one. So Daisy misses. But a tough morning so far for Mark Daisy. Yeah, yeah, it really has been. That was a, that was a tough shot. It just uh, curled a little bit in a spot we didn't think it would. Needed to make a tough shot, couldn't do it. Count one more for Manitoba. Steal of one. It's seven to four. Got yourself in a mess. Scott towels have sponge pockets. They're our strongest, most absorbent paper towel. Scott towels with sponge pockets, getting you out of big messes.
everything's just fine. For more than 60 years, families like Silkins have been entrusting A.M.J. Campbell van lines to move more than just their belongings. You could say they deliver peace of mind. A.M.J. Campbell, Canada's largest coast-to-coast -coast mover. Every year about the same time, same place, it's back with a blast. Another cold Canadian winter, another frozen gas line. This winter, fight back. Fill up at Husky and Mohawk with ethanol-blended high-performance gasoline with a built-in gas line antifreeze. The ethanol blend offers added performance and a reduction of harmful emissions. This winter, you'll win with Husky and Mohawk, Mother Nature's gas stations. I'm sorry to drag you in here on a Sunday. Two hours and 17 minutes ago, our system went down. Right now, we're losing close to 100,000 an hour. I talked to the server vendor. They say it's an application problem. Front end guy says it's database. Database vendor says it's the servers. Did you call the web designers? Snowboarding. And whose job is it to make sure all this stuff works the way it's supposed to? That would be yours. And that's when it hits you. You are so ready for IBM. Nova Scotia. Discover the sights and sounds that make us Canada's seacoast. In our music, in the excitement of our past, in our seafaring heritage, and in young hearts. It's all in our 400-page Doers and Dreamers Guide. Get your free copy today and visit us as soon as you can. Nova Scotia, Canada's seacoast. Live from the Civic Center in Ottawa, another great day at the Briar, another breakfast with Russ. Russ Howard here with Manitoba leading 7-4. to four. Burtnick yep. in control after stealing one. That's his fourth point stolen this morning. Yeah, that was a big miss there. Mark Mark tried to freeze with his first one. If he makes it, he's you know he's going to score his two for sure. It'd be an easy deuce, but uh, you know the freeze isn't the easiest shot in the world. And over curled, and uh, Kerry made a great one and forced Mark to a real tough double, and uh, it didn't pan out. And uh, unfortunately, Mark, uh, even if he clips the back side of that one, scores one. He's in good shape, but uh, three three downs pretty tough. Guy Hemmings running out of rocks on sheet D by. Jonice of BC. So there's the first upset of the morning. He having favored against BC with just two wins. That's number three for BC. And the third loss for Guy Hemmings. It gets a little more interesting now. It's a little tighter for sure. Yeah. And uh, he's playing New Brunswick. New Brunswick's still uh, up in their game. And uh, that, that's an important game for both of them. So Hemmings drops to seven and three after the loss to BC. New Brunswick next on his dance card next round this afternoon. That's a great spot. Wait for my That's fine. Three points the difference on sheet A. Two six and three teams. Mark's mindset here is he has to score a two. You know, a three down. Uh, you know, without without. You know, he only scores one. Two up coming home with a hammer Easy for Blaine. carries. Uh, uh, that's a disaster, really. So okay. he, it's, he has Easy. to work out as hard as he can to create the guards, Good. get a couple nice. nose hits, and see if he can get something hidden in behind to create a miss for the uh, the Burton's team. Shot. Try to line these okay. up as well, close as you can to Good. parallel. Otherwise, uh, the way these boys feel, they can get both of them. Playing 10, New Brunswick with the hammer, leading Newfoundland 5-4. Well, the enthusiasm here in Ottawa has been terrific for all the curlers this week. And right up. After you finish 10, there's a long walk all the way back to the dressing rooms at the other end. We were so. talking about that yesterday. It's just wonderful. And what a, you know, the curlers, some of them have never been here before, and the guys that have been here, you know, they really appreciate it. But 
I, I haven't seen a crowd uh, at all the briars I've been to is uh, quite an appreciative of this. They're clap for all eight curlers that are going down separately and really? uh, whether they won or lost or uh, yeah, that's what their terrific. standings are or anything. It's just been wonderful. How are we now? Still looks a little hot. Thinking this might be a little hot for Nova Scotia. Trying to get something started here in Shot by hit. nine. Down by three. Well, that's not too bad at all. That's no, perfect. It's a great spot. There's no double possibility at all. Now Alberta coming into the morning draw at seven and two, facing PEI with the lead at six four. Ninth end on sheet B. Alberta's final stone for Dave Nettowin. There's the lead for the first time for Alberta. So that a little more predictable all of a sudden, but there's an end to go there. Oh, the sure is. PIs, you know, they're one down. But the good news is they have the hammer, and that's that's a pretty good situation. But uh, Furby's team's done this all week. They've been down one or two, and they claw back and find uh, get a steal or score a three. And uh, you know, Nedowan made a wonderful double to set that three ender up, and um, they're, they're, that's going to be a horse race coming home. What do you call our game at this point? It's not exactly a horse race <laughs> when you're down by three. I mean, uh, you're chasing the it. buffalo there on the back of uh, Burtnick's <laughs> jacket. Okay, Blaine. Chasing the buffalo. I like that. <laughs> Now they got the opportunity. Came in a little bit deep with that one, and well, Kerry's not even going to go for it. I thought he'd try to cross the sheet double, but yeah, sure, Jeff if it's there, talk, yeah. Jeff's going to talk him into it here. Watch this. If it's there, yep, there it is. <laughs> Why not? Come on, Skip. Let's go for this one. Yeah, sure. Well, it makes sense. You peel it. You peel it anyways, and it might Whoa. get over and get lucky, make the double, and uh, get out of the end. Whoa! Ah! Whoa! Okay, good enough. Good rock. Close. That replacement guard was a little bit deeper than Nova Scotia wanted, yeah. and so uh, that set up the opportunity for two. But no, you only got so many teams too, John, that, that just throw that they get down a couple points in the lead or the second, whoever's throwing that shot just kind of dumps it over the hog line somewhere, and the sweepers kind of nonchalant it over there, and they, all of a sudden they realize they set up a double. And the, the real good teams that are here this week, uh, they wouldn't be here if they thought that way. They're they're trying to make them mathematically perfect so that there is no double. And Ryan could have made that, John, and not that it was an easy one. But uh, you don't want to give these guys that type of opportunity Hard. to get out of a bit of a jam. Come on! Hurry! Back eight. Line's good. Hard. Way back. Got a great line. We're there. Okay. We're there, Mark. Okay. Beauty. That's a great one in there. Just a great shot. To get, you know, to get one in behind a guard that's almost in the rings is wonderful. That's the swingy sign, so there's a tremendous amount of movement there. Now Jeff's mindset here is he'd love to get the rock in the ring because that's the one that'll go on the scoreboard, but you yeah. cannot miss it wide. Hard. Even by taking the guard off is not a problem. Hard. Fired lots at this. Took the guard. Yeah. That shooter will not hang around. Pick it up. Now we're back to the same situation. We want them separated, but now they're in the, in the rings for Mark. He's, He's worked the miss by a corner guard, a great come around by Fleming, and now if he splits the house and uh, makes three perfect shots, he can get get out of here with his two ender and be back in the game. Third Paul Fleming. Trying to make it happen for Nova Just Scotia back, here. Pete. Down by three, playing nine. Easy. Easy lane. Well, back eight. Well, just behind the tee line, but he sure doesn't want it through. So there's not a much of real estate to aim at. It's starting to right die. Up, right up, right up. Hurry! Right up. Now they, they lost drag that it one. back now. No. Okay, sorry, no. I should have said. Double is there. No. Not necessarily routine, but no. but you hate to give Kerry that type of opportunity. And uh, you know, there's no use sweeping it through either. It was just a tough shot. It had to be back eight. And you know, there's not much real estate there. And it's it's uh, it's an opportunity for Manitoba to get the deuce here. Final rock belongs to Daisy here after giving up a steal of one to Burtnick in eight. I heard Kerry's comment. This is only his first rock, and he's 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 not that concerned about the double. If he rolls over towards the red one and uh, puts the two together yes. for his final shot, it's fine. Yes! Whoa! Yes! Where's this going to end up? 
toward it. Oh, jeez, great shot. It's not bad at all. I mean, the double isn't as important as sitting where you are right now. If you're Manitoba. No question about it. That's an unbelievable shot. That's almost as good as the double because it's tough for Mark to remove it. And to remove that and stay would be, you know, laser eye surgery. It's, it's going to be tough. Got a great roll here. A little bit fortunate. Kerry was trying to make the double. And he uh, hit it a little too thick, but the sweepers have swept it over just about on top of that red one. And uh, that's a tough break for Mark. He's going to have real trouble negotiating that one out that and, and hanging around. That's where you gave me. Well, I mean, you can remove that yellow stone, but there is a little bit of backing. Off. Yeah, I want yeah. the same line, Half don't the rock I? is... Yeah. yeah is covered there at the back well, by the that red pass, stone. So. Okay, yeah, I thought my Mark, rock Mark's was decided he can't hit it well, out, so he's just going to simply move, draw one in it. here, try to yeah, freeze to the face it. of okay, it, and yeah, put a little, little bit of pressure on Kerry. Oh, I was thinking more. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. Try to uh, freeze the yellow, but try to just let it overcurl a tiny bit. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be frozen. I mean, just in front of it with a little bit of overcurl is good. That's a smart call, and when he says over curl, he wants this out turn to curve past the face of the yellow one onto, onto the far side of it, stopping a, uh, any potential double for carry. He misses on the high side, it'll be a, an automatic double Mine's for good. There's T-line. Mine's good. There's your time. Whoa, this, hey, curl. The, the sheet's been running beautifully all day. It should be still yep. around that 14 point range, and he's trying to get to whoa. the back of the ring, so it has to be a lower oh, number than 14, whoa, whoa, and he's there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So that should have Lots tremendous, of plenty of weight. Okay, Mark, good job. Too much weight, actually, yeah. just, just a hair just too a, far. Right just now. a hair too far. He's so. obviously exposed the uh, the opportunity at the double. It's not an easy one yeah. because they are angled a little bit. He has to hit a, the rock top rock red rock one pretty thin. Yeah, a little cut. Go a little bit for line. To... I'm sorry. Dacey has the final stone. Upcoming last rock for Kerry Burtnick. That will never give me any ice on this. Well, there's a little Hallmark greeting there. Happy 75th birthday to Mom. And we know that Pearl is 75 today and watching. That's right. Exactly. Her son, David, produced this breakfast at the Briar. So happy birthday, oh, Pearl. Yeah. I'm not so sure we were supposed to say 75. Bars. Come on! <laughs> but it's out. There you go. Hot shooting, Kerry Burtnick. And difficult to overcome for Nova Scotia. <laughs> it's so frustrating for Mark. Like, he had the oh, deuce set up. He made a beautiful come around. <laughs> and uh, Kerry yeah. makes a cross the sheet double freeze. And then he makes the double. And uh, the dream's over for the two-ender. That's a tough double, too. Yeah, it, it, it is. I mean, you got to yeah. come back the other way. And, yeah. Well, he had to hit it thin enough that he risked the opportunity of actually missing it clean. You know, you start aiming at two and three inches of a curling stone from that far away, it's pretty tough. Well, that was the double stone. that he saw with his first shot in the end and didn't take. Was that easier or more difficult than the one? The first double, the, yeah, the first double was much Me? tougher because it was a lot more uh, real estate Shut to cover. Up. It was it was a much flatter double, mm -hmm. and, and you, you know you had to roll it a lot farther, you had to throw it harder. But that one was lined up a little bit better. Well, there you go. He passed on the first, took the second, and that'll blank the end, Manitoba. Yeah, blank. Three up, coming home on Nova Scotia. It's seven to four. The Nokia Briar on TSN, presented by Sheraton Hotels and Resorts, is brought to you by your Husky and Mohawk Diesel Max Fuel Retailers. IBM, taking e-business and your business to the next level. And Nova Scotia, Canada's seacoast. <laughs> this is Lang. Uh, we've got ten million reasons. Who killed the man? Where is that? Hey, hey, buddy! Not my job to make the phone call. Introducing Advil Liquid Gel, the only liquid gel that gives you effective migraine relief that's fast. Ah, hockey. The fast pace. I think it's time for a break between periods. You know, being a big brother only takes a few hours a week, 
and the benefits last a lifetime. It's safe, it's fun, and best of all, there's always someone cheering for you. So don't get called for delay a game. Call to become a big brother today. You might just get drafted after all. Settle, we're shutting down for a couple hours. Why don't you guys get some rest? Fly me to the moon. Let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. Introducing the Ford Escape. Imagine a world with no boundaries. You already know these uses for your karcher. Here's a few you might not have thought of. The hat rack. The shower. The centerpiece. The chandelier. You can always use a karcher. Introducing Nokia Mobile Messaging. Nokia, connecting people. The Nokia Briar on TSN, presented by Sheraton Hotels and Resorts, is brought to you by Ford, supporting the drive to achieve. Karcher, quality cleaning equipment. And Nokia, proud sponsor of the Nokia Briar. Welcome back. We head to the final end. On day six, draw 15 as we watch Nova Scotia and Manitoba battle for a spot in the playoffs. It's been breakfast with Bert Nick one more time. He's had a nice morning and uh, has a three shot lead coming home. He's made a living on making the other skip go. look bad. He, he, he's thrown so many pressure shots uh, or put so much pressure on Mark actually with the some nice finesse come arounds and some good doubles that uh, you know it's been an uphill battle for Mark all the way along. First Manitoba Rock was thrown through. This is the second stone of the end. And the thought process, a long guard. Try and it's a long one okay, too. They had a little bit of trouble getting that one over the hog line, but that's a great spot. And uh, Kerry's going to try to come down, and, you know, with the free guard zone rule here, he can't remove this red rock. But he'd really like to take a hard try at moving it over yeah. a little bit farther so yeah. that uh, Mark can't use it Good for way. cover. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Oh. Yes. Whoa. Oh. Come on, baby. It's trying. Girl. It's close. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> try. That's such a difficult shot. I mean, you have to throw enough weight to you really want your yellow rock to roll through the rings, or That's there's going to be two rocks in play. And by throwing it that hard uh, to hit a little chunk of the red one without moving it into the wall, it's, it's, it's very tough. Got a lot of blame, isn't it? Easy blame. Easy blame. So Mark gets Easy a chance blame. to put the second corner guard off, and all he really needs is a nose hit, John. You, you have two two corner guards and Mark's throwing goes around one of them. They peel the guard. He goes around the other one. They peel a guard. You draw for three. Easy Thompson. as that. Yep, that's it. As easy as that. <laughs> I'm not so sure. <laughs> it's as easy as that against Kerry Burtnick on C, New Brunswick. Leading 5-4. Final stone, third end. Trying to stay alive. Jim Sullivan. Long shot for the playoffs at five and four in ten. There you go, six four New Brunswick. Well, Jimmy's getting closer all the time. He's you know he's six and four, and uh, a lot of people said to me, oh, you know, who'd you lose to, and who's that guy? But uh, Jimmy's the kid, the world junior champion back in '87, uh, beating a guy by the name of Mada to get there, and. Uh, Hasn't had a lot of experience in the Briars, but the one Briar he played in previous to this one, he lost the final to Eddie Wernick, so uh, he's not afraid to uh, win some games at the Canadian Championship level, and uh, they knock off Guy there in the playoffs. That's the next match for New Brunswick. Guy Hemmings of Quebec. Shot. 
at the 130 draw this afternoon. So New Brunswick at six and four. A lot of things can still happen here with uh, BC losing or Quebec losing to BC this morning. Hemmings drops to seven and three. Great. Great. That hurt. Okay, okay. Throw drop. Two good throws by Robbie, and then the pressure's really on Manitoba in, in a way because they, they know there's only one way Daisy has a chance to get back in this game, and that's with a nose hitter or a complete flash on one of the peels. And uh, everybody has to make every shot. It has to be executed properly. And uh, we see it happen so often, you just assume the game's over. But uh, yeah, it's not it's not routine. routine. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh. Wish, wish it was. <laughs> <laughs> well, you explained to me so cleverly just a moment or two ago how easy it was to yeah. get three oh, and it happens all the time okay. but it really does it's a little more easily said than yeah. done oh, isn't no, it? I mean no, with no, your yeah. description yeah. there a second or two ago. and then you got a team like Manitoba that when you do set it up they'll go and make the double on you. Double, but they Almost, moved that, yeah, that guard super try over a little farther, just a little thicker. Almost a tick. Yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mark's still alive. As long as he's got that guard out there, he can uh, get around it. And uh, it's getting pretty late in the end, and uh, it's going to be hard to put two in behind that guard. This shot does move in there nicely, so Paul should have a good chance of be being able to bury it. And in this particular case, we always talk about good misses and bad misses and we like to have the rocks in front of the tee line and you can use them later but in this situation he's going to want to be well behind the tee line which will allow the rock to bend a little bit more and get, get fully under cover. Nova Scotia's Mark Dacey trying everything he can to grab three here in 10 and force an extra. Alberta PEI right next door. Dave Nettowin leading 7-6 on Prince Edward Island. Peter McCall made an unbelievable hit and roll here and the angles are really uh, in favor of PEI. This is going to be a tough shot. Lots of movement down there. It looks like red would be shot and one more rock to come. I think it's uh, maybe yellow there. And oh, okay. This, this, yeah. it's well, not, not that this is a gimme, but I think if Peter draws a button, he gets his two to win. Tough angle from here. It's hard to say. But well, we don't have the overhead camera on that sheet of ice. Nova Scotia. Whoa. Quickly running out of rocks with three points needed against Manitoba yep. here. For a tie back. in 10, 7 4 the score. That one just didn't break in there like they'd, uh, they'd like, and uh, Kerry will uh, <laughs> Kerry will give it a shot. Well, this for it all for PEI, Alberta coming into the game at 7 and 2, tied for the lead. And here's the final rock for Peter McDonald. This game's gone back and forth, back and forth. A great three for Alberta to get a chance to win this game, but uh, I think this is a free draw for two. And uh, when they say free, it's going to be in the uh, almost on the button. But uh, Peter makes a lot of these. Whoa. McDonald Whoa. had a good start Whoa. earlier in the week for Prince Edward Island. The Whoa. struggle happened Whoa. or began on Monday, and they've lost. Whoa, a significant Whoa. number in a row. Here's McDonald's shot. Does he get his deuce? Don't think so. That one had a little more rotation, John, and it just slid a little farther. Sorry, guys. I think it's one. Was that blessing? What? Oh. So they'll go to an extra there. A little bit of a, a, little bit of a spinner. Fine. Yeah, you heard the call. Just a little bit of a spinner. And what happens there when you throw a little more rotation? Uh, the rock will slide a little bit farther. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. Thank you. And our game is over. Mm. 
Thanks a lot. Thank you. Gary Burtnick moves to seven and three. Nova Scotia drops to six and four. Hey boys. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Not quite done, the Nova Scotians, but Burtnick takes a giant step toward grabbing a spot in the playoffs. One more win today for Burtnick when he plays this afternoon, or at least this evening, against Alberta, and Manitoba's moving on. Digital as documents get. Digital copiers, network printers, color imaging. Kyocerameta is where documents are going. A Kyocera document solutions company. For people who are demanding. Extremely. Schick Extreme 3. Triple blade performance. Pivoting head. Perfect grip. And best of all, after a whole bunch of great shaves, you just toss it and serve up a new one, which is rather convenient. Extremely. Chic Extreme 3. Chic. Shave something. <laughs> Manitoba wins over Nova Scotia 7-4. Kerry Burtnick really sailed the victory in that one. Dacey of Nova Scotia struggled at times, and Burtnick stole four in total. Yeah, that was certainly the difference. Uh, Mark, uh, you know, his own admission wasn't, he didn't have his A game, but uh, Kerry put a lot of pressure on him. Updated standings, Alberta hanging there at 7-2, but still on the ice. Ontario did not play this morning, so Mada is at 7-2. Quebec drops to 7-3, the result of a loss. Manitoba moves up to seven and three. Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Saskatchewan, still a chance. Well, we've worked all morning. We haven't settled a darn thing. No, we really <laughs> haven't, have we? There's still seven teams alive, and uh, for the teams at six and four, they, uh, you know, they, it's looking a little better than ever. So here we go to B for the extra end. Peter McDonald forcing it. Had a chance for the win with his last stone, a little bit heavy, and all of a sudden, Alberta is even at seven with PEI. Hammer belongs to Randy Furby's team. Peter, just a hair heavy in that one. Just a little more rotation than he probably throws. That fools a sweeper sometimes because uh, in, in, on ice that's fast, that a little more rotation like that might add another two, three feet to the speed of the rock. And uh, it, you know, it, it, to be critical, he overswept it a little bit, but that was, that was a very tough shot. He was aiming at the button, you know, he didn't have much room. Here's an interesting situation. Uh, Furby's actually going to go around this one, and uh, a lot of the teams, I know the New Brunswick team and uh, Manitoba usually, and uh, most of the teams will actually split this off. They'll try to move it off to the side and give the skip a, a clean path to the forefoot to win the game with either a draw or a wide open no. hit. But Randy's actually going to go around this thing, and no, the I... idea here is he cannot be heavy. He has to be top four, top eight, and put a little bit of pressure on P.I. as opposed to the opposite oh, I situation. I wanted the four. I don't even care if it's wide open. Nothing really on the line for P.I. Oh. except improving a four <laughs> and five record. With two games to go, including the one you're watching right now. Alberta takes a giant step toward locking everything up for a playoff spot. And the opportunity to finish first overall. I yeah, think. Exactly. seven and two. Yeah. Alberta, with a win, Come moves on. to Three eight lines. and two. Come with on. one gotta game go, to go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Yeah, now that Quebec's gotta lost, go. you've got Ontario and gotta Alberta go. tied, and Alberta Come beat on. Ontario if I remember correctly. So uh, if they keep winning, they're going to have uh, first place in the hammer. And Alberta has a date with Manitoba tonight. <laughs> so Manitoba, with the win 
could actually overtake Alberta because of Manitoba's victory. If Alberta Not can't playing. beat BEI here today, yeah. that would be on well, the line tonight if Manitoba wins. Uh, so. Kirby's very well aware of that. I talked to him this morning just before they uh, threw their practice rocks, and he said this is a huge game for us this morning because, uh, they, you know, if they lose, just like you say, if they lose, they're playing Kerry Burtnick in, the, in a must situation, and they, you don't want that to happen. So the one-two game is an awful lot more fun here oh, than the yeah. three-four game. Oh right? yeah, absolutely. You know, the one-two game you've got the luxury of losing. You're one game away from the Briar, and you have two tri Briar final, and you have two tries at two it. Two cracks at it, right? As opposed to you're back against the wall in every uh, in every game you play. Extra and Alberta against PEI tied at seven. Yep. Right up, right up, right up. Alberta Fine. has the hammer. It's out. Throwing redstone, so that belongs to Prince Edward Island. And here's how they line up today. Rock for Alberta. Scott Pfeiffer. <coughs> Randy Furby is the skip who throws third stones, and Dave Nettowin is throwing fourth stones. Prince Edward Island with Mark Butler, Mark O'Rourke, Peter Gallants, and Skip Peter McDonald. I like the opening play here. Randy went around the guard as opposed to splitting it. He put it in a really good spot, but Peter countered with a wonderful tap back and roll yeah. dead berry. That, that's such a huge shot because if he doesn't get his yellow rock into the forefoot area, there's not going to be much to guard. If it slips to the back eight or he can guard it all he wants, but uh, Nedowin will have a fairly easy shot with his last one. They have to keep uh, at least one PI rock really close to the button as close as possible. Keep it clean. Yellowstones for Prince Edward Island. Scott Pfeiffer, the Alberta second. This is a rocket. Alberta does throw big weight. The uh, front end, the young guys, they, uh, they're not afraid to step the weight up, and they're very accurate with it. Redstone belongs to Alberta. It's the shot rock facing Prince Edward Island now. The really bad news for PI is they've got a, a Yellowstone in a wonderful spot, and they keep guarding it for all it's worth, but the red shot rock, and uh, you know, obviously, they're going to have to make a play on that, which will probably open up the, uh, the yellow one at the top of the button. So they can either tap the yellow back with uh, Peter's last shot and uh, give a fairly easy double to Alberta, or they're going to have to make a play on the red one. And uh, e neither option's that great. So long as uh, Randy makes both his peels and his skipper makes uh, his first one, uh, Alberta's uh, got the upper hand here. Much more on the line, obviously, for Alberta. A loss does not send Alberta scurrying for cover, but it makes it just a little bit more difficult to, yeah, it sure does. to be around on Sunday because of all the possibilities that are here and thinking about the 3-4 game versus the 1-2 game in playoff competition. Again, this morning at 7-2 and two with a four with a three-way tie there, there was still not a guarantee of a playoff spot. So basically what you wanted to do if you're among the contenders today, come out and win both your games and... Uh, let the chips fall oh, where they may. Yeah, right? Absolutely, I mean, that's, yeah. Yeah. that's the story. Once we get down to the final few teams here, you know, it's like flipping a coin, and the later you can avoid a sudden death situation, the better. And that one-two game is what everybody's shooting for. Yep. Right up. Yep. Randy Furby throwing third stones for. His Alberta team, but he calls the shots. Making his fourth prior appearance, he played third for Pat Ryan, 87, and was around for wins in 88 and 89. Also a world champion in 89. Playing with Pat Ryan, that outturn peel is a pretty familiar shot for Randy. They uh, they made a ton of those over the years. And, uh, just just a great competitor, Randy. He's he's you know once Pat moved to. Uh, 
BC. Uh, you know, that left a void on that team, obviously. But uh, Randy's worked his way through. He's done a lot of skipping, and uh, he's found a good young combination, as did Hackner here. And you got to make yeah, that. Yeah, the skips roll. rocks. Hit and roll, then you got to make a double. belongs to Alberta. This is the first down for Prince Edward Island skip Peter McDonald in an extra end. Where are you? Peter's got tons of weight here. The boys have backed right off it. That's not a good sign. It, it usually Sorry. slows down a little bit in the center path, but uh, they don't want this too deep. They just just trying to make a long guard that they're not going to. Alberta hasn't got the opportunity to run straight back. That's okay. Catch. Oh, pulled over a little bit. Over. Catch. Just at the last there. Alberta shot with the red stone in the four. I mean, nothing changes with that guard. No, the guard's not a problem because, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is 11. Standings we talked about. Alberta with a chance to be eight and two. Ontario playing later today. We'll go in to day six, draw 16 at seven and two. And Quebec dropped a, lot, a notch. Manitoba moved up a notch. New Brunswick moves up a notch. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> moving day. Whoa. It is moving day, isn't it? <laughs> so two draws to go after we finish here this morning and uh, lots to be decided. Too early to make any kind of guess on tiebreakers yeah, really David looked ah. like he threw that back a little bit his, nope. his outturn tends to do that and it's, no. uh, he better be light here that's not going to come back off the nope. sideline no chance for the Stick win for Six. Alberta Six. here no. with last rock this is the first stone for the Alberta skip Dave Nedowin or at least throwing skips rocks whoa 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 Dave whoa whoa whoa, whoa. It's got in. where are you going with that thing where are you going with that thing I want to end the right in front of it good throw Back it up a little bit. Yeah. He's got to play No question that the third, Randy Furby, or at least the guy who throws shot, third eh? stones, Randy Furby, is in control of this team. He is uh board weight. He got some youngsters with him. The problem for PI here is they would like to play a draw shot here in behind the guard, but to do that, they're not going to be shot rock, so that's out of the question. So they have absolutely no choice but to come down, hit the red, the and left. have a soft little roll into this area here, and uh, hopefully put enough pressure on Nedowan to get a miss. Tough shot. He, you know, he can only roll it two, two and a half like. feet, and it has to be perfect. If he rolls a little farther than that, he's not even that's shot rock, and Nedowan doesn't have to throw. I, I think if he the, rolls a uh, foot or so, Nedowan will have a, an absolute wide open hit, which he's not going to make too many mistakes I, on. i got to so move it this much to be shot. It has like, to be perfect. I like the call, though. The freeze makes no sense at all. It, uh, it's He'd have to bump it a few inches, and then uh, Alberta can just whip one down there and peel it out. So this is really all he's got. Final stone, Peter McDonald, Prince Edward Island. Looking to improve on a four and five record, get back to even. McDonald looked like he oh, might played, be around they played earlier great. in the week. They just were there. They were hot as anybody at the start there. Four great wins. And uh, it's funny how it goes. You, you know, lose a couple tough ones, you know, the confidence goes a little bit. And uh, they, uh, they played really well today, though. And uh, Peter made a wonderful shot with his first one in 10 to, uh, to score the single. Oh, let it work. Let it work. PEI's final stone. Alberta Ball. gets the last opportunity Ball. here in the Ball. extra end. Ball. Yes, hurry. Up. Hurry. Clear. Work on hurry. it now. Can they take that out of there? Yes, but. A little too far. I think the roll is a little far. Thank you. Alberta will not have to throw the final stone to win 8 7 over Prince Edward Island. So Alberta wins in an extra end. Manitoba wins as well. E. Hemmings is dropping another game, so there's a little bit of a scramble here for the playoffs. There's the score, Alberta. 
has the best record at the Briar with one draw to go for the Albertans after an 8-7 win over PEI. Our next drop comes your way about an hour and 10 minutes from now. Join Vic Rotter, Ray Turnbull, and Linda Moore for Briar coverage continuing live from Ottawa. One of the things that's so relevant and important for us on OTR is to look at all of the media, not just the sports media, and see how they are looking at sport. Take a look at the cover from Esquire magazine this month, and they have beauty and strength. They're 10 sexiest athletes, all of whom will compete in the Olympic Games. And here's a sampling of what you see inside. And again, it's not just athleticism, it's also sex appeal. Did they do anything wrong? Absolutely not. I, I think, think so. Yes, no way. Oh, I don't agree with that. If you're a beautiful woman, why should you not at least have some place to be able to vent that or to express that? And even their choose. See, we I think we forget one thing. It women are choosing to do this. Exactly. Right? We're always down on men and saying, 